Who's watching the hearings? I have mine on the other screen. It's unbelievable. If they I, if they can prove I, what I, they're I saying. Them on because I was coming here. I have them being taped. Don't tell me what I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, so, I watched the first hour and now the other screen right now I have it on mute. I was watching it while you guys were out. So the reason it's why fun. I'm so fuzzy is because the internet uh, oh. in this hotel room is really bad. Like I'm getting download speed of six megabits per well, that second. makes sense so yeah. if you start having problems vincent what we know to do is you just turn off your video like yeah, yeah. that way it yeah. makes it so we can at least hear you so that might yeah. be what yeah. you but you guys can hear me just fine so yeah, yeah. 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 i mean my yeah. team members said we can hear you just fine so i'm not going to yep. worry about it you, you yep. did have some audio glitches when we first started the session though Right, yeah. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is going to work. You do have a bit of a Canadian accent, so I, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if, uh, oh, if the resolution gets improved, that. that'll go away. If that's the result of the bandwidth or not. Uh, Hi, Faith. It's all those extra U's that are slowing them down. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, Instead here we go, saying you guys. about, I say a boot. A boot. Yeah. A boot. A boot. Yeah. I, don't know what I never say a boot. You wear a boot on your foot? Yeah. <laughs> so hello everybody. Hello, hello everybody hello everybody i wanted to thank you guys for a very entertaining couple hours i watched your video it was so fun to watch and have you guys talking to me directly <laughs> did, you enjoy, did, you, did you enjoy the wordle section no i did not enjoy the wordle <laughs> section. But thank you thank you so much peggy you did a really good job thank you for doing wordle when i wasn't here I really you're appreciate welcome. that. But it didn't pull you in. You're not going to, you know, you haven't been playing Wordle since you watched that? No. And oh, here, comes, here comes Richard Saunders. Let me wait for oh. him to get in here. Oh my gosh. Is, another are you another in Oregon great... yet, Richard? Uh, he, Richard? I don't think he's, I think he's still in uh, in Australia. I think we were finished by 930 too. You guys were done early because I, I, I saw, uh, you know, because I was driving, I was flying oh. from um, Monterey to Vegas and I got in and then I looked at my email and it said, here's your video. And I'm like, oh, well, okay, I guess they're all done. I couldn't even think about joining you guys later. Hello so, from beautiful. Hello, Scotland. Saunders. Hello. From where? He's in Sydney. Look at his back. I'm in Loch, Loch Ness. It's uh, some out oh, there. Oh, that was so <laughs> funny, Richard. That was so funny. He showed a video for Ben Radford and, and we, and Kenny had put together a video of people who couldn't be at Rob um, Ben Radford's party and Richard's had a little segment on then it was like something it was I like had Scottish music and a tartan or something we're like what in the heck is who's who's yeah. and then it goes oh the music and then here's here's Saunders over looking the opera house in Sydney and he says I'm in Loch Ness looking for the Loch Ness monster it's very funny I hope he puts out that video. So anyway, I want to thank you, Peggy. You did a really good job. Very good. I wouldn't have known anything. Well, Who has ever well. got the hearings on? Can they turn it off? No, as it's, it's on like the it. other screen. Yeah, but we hear it. Oh, yeah. So somebody should turn it off. We can look or at it later. I watched the first hour and I've got it on another screen. And Rob, you did a fabulous job. Thank you so much for doing that. Very, very good. And it's, you guys are it, it, I won't say I won't say it was fun, but I'm I'm glad uh, we were able to do the game without you. Oh no problem! Was, uh, you guys were great. It was a lot, fun. It's a, I mean, it's, I, a lot of, it's a lot of work. I I would much rather do all of the uh, questions and have someone else run it than run the game. Yeah, I agree. Running the game is a little bit hard. Thank you for acknowledging all the work I've been doing all these. All this yeah, we've got the game on in the back. The Some, the someone needs to be muted. Everybody mute unless you're talking, basically. Somebody. Okay. So mine's on mute. My uh, my uh, I have it running, but it's mute. So anyway, 
very good job. You guys were hilarious. Um, I had many, many chuckles as I was going through. I made a few notes as I was listening and I, I enjoyed uh -oh. it. Uh, did something noteworthy. The thing that uh, the the joke about the cheese with the with the larva or whatever that was just hilarious. <laughs> and then the face on Rob, Rob's face on the video is just priceless when it gets to the larva part. And you guys kept referring to it. It was so funny. I haven't eaten any cheese this whole week. I have to tell you. I just look at it in the refrigerator. No, I don't think so. And um, and you're right. Sorry, Rob. Um, you're right, Deborah. As soon as Port Marion was mentioned, I'm like, Port Marion, that ain't it. You know, I knew exactly. What <laughs> you that knew that was in one there was. for you, Susan. I, you I, I appreciate that. I was watching. And and more than ever, it is obvious that Wordle is a cult. So I think it's all got to go. That is terrifying. I am not to watch you cult, guys either. talking about it. I'm serious. If you watch that as a non Wordle person and you're looking, listening to you guys talk about this well, thing, like Susan, it was scary. Also, you guys there, scared also, me. It was like Scientology. Everyone so in a cult world, says it's not a cult. Yeah, it's a strategy. It's world, though, where they so, you got to guess what country it is in five guesses. There's hurdle where you can uh, you see, listen to songs. See, she's listing them all. She's, she's, swear, uh, swear we it are all. not involved in cults. Harder words. It is a cult. I can tell. Hey, you guys hey, are Susan. Mm -hmm. It's always trivia though. Minty, do you like? <laughs> but this no, is Shay. There's normal. Do you like that, Susan? Do you like those? No, no, no. Really. Su Susan, okay. are, you okay. gonna, are you gonna write the uh, the uh, the Wikipedia page for uh, Wordle? Oh yeah. No, it's already <laughs> out there, I guess, because you guys are quoting from it according to Wikipedia. No, I don't want anything to do with that. That has nothing to do with science. <laughs> if I write about it, it's gonna be cult. I'm going to explain it like a cult. Anyway, it's, it was a love story. A guy wrote it for his girlfriend. And yeah, you whatever. You're, you're just upset you're not part of the secret Wordle cabal. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it. I've got enough cabals to deal I with. I wish it. I could have invented it and got the million dollars. It was cre creepy listening to you guys. You guys, the video is up there. You can listen to you it. You just have to invent the next craze. That's all. No. Anyway, so let's go to, um, let's go Amen. to our, our group names. Now, uh, I'm going to warn you. This uh, is the day of the hearings. I don't know why they decided to schedule the hearings during our trivia, but <laughs> yeah, six, they, they didn't them. listen. They, they didn't. Uh, just have no good common sense. That's I mean, gosh, problem. you know, there's priorities and that is they, they scheduled it. Otherwise, you know, we could be they could be here. <laughs> it's but, better than uh, the Johnny Depp trial. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, so what we go on is the hearing Speaking of cults. My goodness. The hearing should you, only go um, on a little bit longer. I don't think it's going to go on much longer. So when it's over, I think we're going to be joined by a few other people. I think Wendy and, the, um, and some other people are going to join. I, I don't know who saw this, but I just saw it on some news. James service. isn't addicted to trivia. Somebody was in the <laughs> depth trial, just, you know, a member of the public in the public gallery, and they made notes throughout the whole trial. They just sold their notebook for 15 grand. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh -huh. going to go to, uh, it's a guy named, Come on. Well, I can't remember his name, but he's, he's the proceeds are going to the Children's Hospital of LA that he oh, ever was supposed to be donating to. Richard, <laughs> Richard, you couldn't have paid me that amount of money to stay there and listen to the whole freaking Oh, it was so That's interesting. True. That's I, true. I found it fascinating. But anyway, the point is, so today we have the hearings and we're going to be dealing with the hearings throughout um, the month of June, July, and I think they go into the first week of September. And from what I understand, really? they're going to be moving the hearings around different times, different time slots, different days of the week. So it might interfere again. And we're just going to go ahead as, as, as we have. And then, you know, you guys can watch everything's videotaped. I mean, you can, you can go back and look at this again. So anyway, that's where we are. We'll probably be joined by some more. So let's go ahead and do start off with our teams names so the first group we have is paula james terry and it's going to have saunders in it whenever we mm -hmm. finally get back to it so what is your team name tonight in the chat, okay, let me pull up the chat. in the chat that's an interesting auto, auto like correct it. kiss my house like <laughs> yeah, how, how very good auto correct can kiss my ass it's an ass <laughs> it's an arse in your world there saunders yeah but i'm just trying to find the joke auto correct can kiss my ass <laughs> is is that is that a joke on something? Because autocorrect usually corrects swearing. Yeah. Yeah. Autocorrect auto kiss my app. Yes. Yeah. In that case, yes. you should have named your team oh, autocorrect and kiss my glass. See, that yeah. would be better. Oh, be uh, I don't get it. 
Yeah. Okay. Cleopatra said it can kiss my ass. So, yeah, was stuck off. <laughs> so game number uh, team number two is Jamie, Janine, Peggy, and Vincent. <laughs> the Wash the Washington House Select Committee on Lousy Internet. Okay, that'll be good. And and it auto corrected my Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Did it? Now? And I corrected it. Okay, so Ben, Jordan, Romero, Faith, and Rob. We what do you got? The spirit bearers. Mm. The who? <laughs> Have fun with that one. That's what I said. Spirit fairs. <laughs> yes. Is that a game? It is. It's okay. Well, that, how did uh, I? There's another that? cult. It's another cult. Watch oh. out. Gee, I'm not doing well in world today. Uh, okay. So next Wordle up, we have hard today. Carl, Leonard, and Deborah. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, that's the name of your team because you guys. We, didn't we, care, we, huh? we asked Deborah what she wanted to name the team, and she said, "I don't care." Okay, well, so that's a great sounds good to me. And last but not least, we have Alan, Larry, Ron, Kevin, and Gail. And yes, Ron, I did put you on the same team as your brother. Because you said you had never been on a team <laughs> with your brother. Lucky guy. We have 50 seconds to go and we don't have a name. And I think <laughs> you guys have another sibling too. So yeah. why aren't they here? Hmm. Here comes Kyle. How how come um How's how's Avi doing? Really quick, I should ask. He's oh, he in. um he I asked he actually contemplated still popping in to say hi, but I mean the guy can't stay up, you know, <laughs> at all. So now he was tired, uh, but uh, he'll find when he has a when he has a Thursday where he's got nothing, and then the next morning he'll 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 pop by. Okay. He had talked to me about uh, he's going to be going to the European Skeptic Congress, which is great. Nice. I think I'm going to find a roommate for him. So that'll be, that'll be better because it'll help save some money and he can get to know somebody really nice. quick. I think he's going to room with, uh, hopefully he's going to room with one of our GSOW editors, Pavel from, from the Czech Republic. So that'll be really good. Oh. Cool. All right. So tonight, you guys, this is a real treat because we are starting year three, which is amazing considering this is supposed to be one night, <laughs> one game, maybe two, <laughs> but we're on year three. So we have, we're just about to hit, um, tonight's 110 games, which is crazy. We're in season three, episode one, officially. I don't know if that's for reals, but we're going to go with that. And we're going to play tonight our first game of the new year. So we are at, um, we have a smaller amount of people we'll add some people as we go they'll come in as as the um the hearings over so starting off at the beginning we have autocorrect can kiss my ass that will be led by terry who's got the first round and then followed by the washington house select committee on lousy internet and that's going to be run by vincent who's going to be having his first category so you know the rules you guys you have to be on the your best behavior even if it's awful <laughs> oh, it's not going to be Pardon. awful. Come on, the, it won't be awful. Is, We've already had awful. Is the if it's awful relate to the category or, or to our behavior? Uh, we'll, we'll, our we'll behavior. Our, That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it, really it, it could not be any thought about Vincent's category. It's 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 no, stressful and to do your first category. It is very stressful. So. I love um, you guys too. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Our third category <laughs> really is run, is the Spitfire Spitfarers. I'm sorry, Spitfarers. Spirit. And Rob is going to be running that category tonight. Yeah, Spirit Fairers. It's, it's spirit. Spirit as in Spirit Fairers. Okay, in and then we have I don't as care. in spiritual. I don't care, and Carl will have that category that that uh, round, and then. <laughs> Last but not least, as I've already said, we have 50, 50 seconds to go and we don't have a name. <laughs> and that's the bonus category run by Gail. And so I do not have people for the next week. So I just want to keep that in mind. Um, I don't see myself going anywhere for at least a little bit longer for a few <laughs> weeks. That, that long. For a few weeks, I have no airfare booked. But then again, I tend to book airfare about two weeks out. So it's not like a... Um, <clears throat> big thing so we've got what, what, what time is it by you at the moment susan six seven, seven almost seven, seven o'clock ah seven this time next next this time next week i'll be happily drunk at brian dunning's house You're gonna be uh, very yeah. good wow 
Okay. Well, he's probably right. sound well, asleep because because I just I'll, I've just landed in the country, so I'll probably. Be, oh yeah, your time's <laughs> going to be all a mess. Uh, that's I don't. Uh, do I'll you, be I don't right know. Back. I, you land on Thursday. And, yeah, I land on Thursday in San Francisco. Then I transfer up to Oregon, and then you'll never see me again. <laughs> so you come down unless we go to Oregon. Yeah, we'll have to come and find That happens. You. We do go to Oregon sometimes. Wait, you're yeah. coming here July 8th, right? I Yes, I'm coming to visit How you. How long are you spending in Bend? Um, A week, Not I think. Not long enough. Like Not long enough. It's never long enough. Bend no, it's never nice. long enough. Never long you're going to be in Bend from on the 16th? Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, then you're going to go back to San Francisco. Yes, but okay. and then I'll visit you. Okay, that's what I thought. No All right. Fantastic. So here we go. So Jamie wants a bonus round. Got it. Okay. Jamie's got it. Terry's already got the permission. And so we're ready to go. So I'm going to assign. Who am I going to assign? Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, good evening. Hi, I'm Kyle. going to make you co-host so that you can um, mute everybody. I know how much how, it's good. The feeling All of right. power, you know. So. <laughs> Indeed. The power. The power. The power. You have the power. I All right, Terry. Know. You're okay, up. Okay, I'm ready. You're up. All right. This is everybody muted, and then I can unmute. Is that how we're doing it? Give us the name of your category so we can moan and groan or it's, cheer. It's a, it's a themed trivia, so I'm... Okay. Mystery. All right, the, well, here the comes... The category is... Yes. Oh. oh, here comes the mute off. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna that's really gonna narrow it down. You have to unmute yourself, Terry. I know I I couldn't get it. Okay, hi. Nope. Okay, so actually, the theme is uh, the last question. So, uh, all of the okay. So, question number one: Who is? Oh wait, no, I didn't get it. <laughs> get it on here. Okay, who? Who is the actor, comedian, singer? Uh, let me get it on there so I can. Who played Benji Benjamin in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, 1963, and Tennessee Steinmetz in The Love Bug, 1968? Number two, name the movie starring Burt Reynolds, released in 1973, about Bobby Gator. McCluskey serving time in an Arkansas prison for running moonshine. Number three, who was the American professional boxer who was the world heavyweight champion from June 14th, 1934 to June 13th, 1935? His son of the same name, Junior, is important to the theme of this trivia game. Number four, name the 2017 indie survival horror video game developed and published by Dennis Vukanovic under the name developer DV Loper as a spin-off to the earlier Slendrina series. Number five. This is the name of the song written by Richie Valens, released in 1958 on Delphi Records. This song was Valens' highest charting single, reaching number two on the Billboard Hot 100 chart the following year. It is the A side of the record. The B side is La Bamba. And I'd like to welcome Caspian here. So I'm going to put the Caspian, I'm going to put these back in here. So that you'll be able to see these. Um, oh, yeah. Because when you come in later. Thanks. You want me to wait? You? No, no, that's okay. He's here now. Okay. Number I'll six. put the first few in. Number. Oh, that says 11. So that's number one. That's me. Okay. Oh, Sorry. number six. Name the classic rock band who wrote and performed the song Aqualung. Number seven. Any nonpolar chemical substance that is composed primarily of hydrocarbons and is both hydrophobic and lipophilic. Number eight, this American professional baseball player was a right-handed pitcher for the Brooklyn 
Los Angeles Dodgers for his entire career in Major League Baseball and was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1984. He died in Canada in 1993. It's my ode to Canada. Okay. Number nine, name the American actress born in 1982 that starred in the comedy drama, The Devil Wears Prada in 2006, where she played the college graduate co-assistant to the powerful fashion magazine editor, Miranda Priestly, played by Meryl Streep. So, oh, wait, I, did the, I didn't get it in, sorry. That was the same one. So this is the who played the college graduate co-assistant. And number 10 is what is the theme of all of these answers? That's it, no bonus. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, Jane, by the way, Jane showed up. That's good. Is the hearing over? Yes. I have it off of my thing. Okay, so Jane and Caspian who arrived a few minutes later, I'm gonna put you in a room and I'm going to re-give you the, the uh, uh, what's it called? Jordan, by the way, Jordan said that they cannot play the entire game. So just so you know, we're going to be a person okay. short, maybe a round three. Not a problem. I think oh, we're no. 20. So let Any, me just copy these over. Does anyone have questions? Are you sure about hydrophobic and lipophilic? Well, this is all according to Wikipedia. We're going to just so change the game name the, to Wikipedia. That's, according that's to Wikipedia. It, that's what it said in Wikipedia for this answer. Okay. It is both, both hydrophobic and lipophilic. All right, so I'm going to send you to rooms as soon as I copy these last two. Oh, oh I see something went in twice. Took me a second to get them, yeah. get, them get organized here. Oops. Nine. And last is 10 which is the theme of all these answers. Okay, Terry. Okay. You've got your, you've got your um, power, so you can bounce around as much as you like. I'm going okay. to put it Caspian and Jane. Love the category. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> and I'll need a team. Okay. Oh, yeah, you need a team, too. Also, I should say. All right, here we go. Where's my? So let's put. You can make us our own team. I I'll be in the Bay Area it. soon, Kyle. Oh, maybe I can come up. Yes, nice please come you. up. I think that um, I believe that uh, Ross Blotcher is coming up. Where are you? Where are you located again, Kyle? He's I'm in Los California. Angeles. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll be visiting Susan early next month anyway. Yeah, please come on up. Yeah, that'd be fun. That might be fun. Okay, just send Caspian. Is it... I think you put me in the team, which is about the ass. You sure did. You are in room one. Okay. Kyle, you are I going knew I to was go ass. to... I'm going to put you over here to two. All right. And I'm going to put Jane. You're going to go to... Four. There we go. Okay. And oh, here's Karen. And let's put Karen also in one. Who did I just? Okay, well, we got a full, we got a full room now. All right, so I'm going to go to one. So. Now, number, number yeah. three, I don't know boxing, but Max Bear Jr. was on the Beverly Hillbillies and his father was Max Bear, the boxer. Was that the right time zone? 1934, Yeah. Yeah. I, I would, yeah. Well, that, that's where I'm going to offer because I have no idea who the heavyweight. I champion. didn't know his father was a uh, boxer. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he lived in the, they they lived in Sacramento, as a matter of fact, near my uh, walking distance, my childhood home. 
Okay, so I'm just going to assume people. Oops. I'm just going to assume people are going to give the cat questions to the people who joined late because there's a whole bunch that are doing that now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, like I don't video. know because I don't play most video games. Okay, so let me look here. So is it Mustics or Vegemite you want me to bring, Susan? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I've got Vegemite still here. Hi, Karen. No, you can bring. You can bring here. Hopefully, it doesn't spoil. Number, you can number. bring Tim Tams. No. Tim Tams. <laughs> Everybody five, has Tim Tams. Number five, I'm thinking is Donna. That's what I was thinking, especially when she gave La Bamba was on the other side. Yeah. Was it's it Donna awesome. or O'Donnell? Number Donna? six is um, Jethro, Jethro Tull. I know that. Karen, can you see the cat questions? That was on my uh, trivia from last night. Four. No, but it seems like you guys have it well in hand. No, I will put them in here. Oh, we got, we got, we got a lot of people now. We were just three people before. It was like, oh, I knew a lot of people were going to join because I'd heard from people. A nonpolar chemical substance that is composed primarily of hydrocarbons and is both hydrophobic and lipophilic. No, so it doesn't idea. like Those water. To me. Is lipophilic so, like it loves fat? Yeah, it it will attract fat. So it'll repel water and attract fat. Well, do we have the uh, first five? I'm seeing a theme of develop. I don't know about you, but Buddy Epson was played uh, Jed Clampett. Max Bear was in the Beverly Hillbillies. Donna Douglas played Ellie May. That's it. That's Beverly it. Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies uh, characters. So far. Yes, yes, because nine is at Hathaway. And Miss Hathaway. Oh yeah, Jethro Tull. Jethro, Jethro Tull. Yeah, yeah, we bingo. Yep. I mean, I mean, yeah. as, as soon as <laughs> Donna was an answer, I thought, well, Max Bear, Donna, Donna Douglas, Douglas, and I yeah. looked, Buddy Hackett, Buddy, Buddy Epson. So I think Beverly Hillbillies is our theme. So if we bear that in mind, it might help us with all the other answers. Okay. Yeah, this is Jethro. What ones Jethro. do you need? What ones do you need? What's seven? We need uh, four, seven, eight. All right. Okay, let's do so them. do we have anything for Granny yet? <laughs> that was Irene Ryan. Irene, Irene Ryan. Ryan, Ryan was Granny. Number Would that eight, be a baseball that be, player? Uh, a Ryan? Oh, oh, I think number four is Granny. Number four. The video game. Okay. The name of the video uh, is Granny. Well, I have we I've heard that name associated with a video game, so I'm just going to Oh, all we can see is the top of your hair <laughs> on the little. TV I like set. it that way. Oh, Susan there you are. These. The top of her head is is beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay, so what do we have for the first one? Because I came in a little late. Oh, I agree. Buddy Hackett. I completely agree. Okay, number two. White lightning. White lightning. Okay. Moonshine, right? Yeah. So yeah. three. My, Max Bear. Junior. Max Bear, we were thinking of. And how does that relate to? Max Bear was in Beverly Hillbillies, and his he father was a was a heavyweight boxer. I don't know if he was number one in thirty four and thirty five, but Max Bear Senior was a boxer. Okay, yeah. so number four, we think is Granny. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. And number five is Donna. 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 Number six is Jethro Toll. Mm -hmm. Number seven, we don't know yet. We have to think of all the characters on Beverly Hills. Would, would, would there be more than one reference to Jethro? You've got Jethro Tull and then again, Max Bear? Sure. Possibly. Because one's That's the actor. Number one's seven, the... Yeah, yeah. oil. Oil is. Uh... Oil. Oh. There we go. Oh, that makes sense. It's hydrophobic. Black, and, uh, black gold, Texas G. Yeah. Texas G. Yeah. <laughs> so number eight, we don't have yet. That's the baseball player. Right okay, number nine, game. what do we think that is? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Okay, and 10, and we know Hathaway that. So the only one we're missing is the baseball player. So I suggest, let's think about what would be a Beverly Hillbillies answer and what we're missing. 
Well, there's Drysdale. There was Mr. Drysdale. Oh. Don Drysdale. Drysdale. Don Drysdale. Drysdale. That was a baseball player. Number, yeah. Oh, Is we got all eight? of them. You guys are amazing. What's number 10? Oh, the, characters the, the, in the, the uh, what is the theme? Whatever the hill does. We're done. Bye bye. Yay, all you guys Yay. rock. You kick First ass. Thing, what you know, what do you think the chances the are that yeah. we'll so, all Jen, sing? move away from oh. there? We'll sing the song. I'm singing I'm it already. Karen, they said California is the place you ought to be, so they loaded up the buggy and head to Beverly. <laughs> it's not a buggy. <laughs> swimming pools, movie stars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. But my my mother loved that show. She just adored it. She laughed herself silly watching the Beverly Hill Village. It was it was so um, you know, for what it was, it was a lovely sitcom full of wonderful situations and funny slapstick moments and stuff like that. You know, yeah, it was and and well really acted. Was. I, yeah, I loved Ellie. Mm -hmm. I was a young boy, but I didn't know what, but I knew she was. <laughs> she, she was. was she was purdy. She was purdy. Purdy. And you know what's funny about it? I watched it not so long ago. I don't know why I did, but I rewatched an episode or so. And it, I don't think it holds up well. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it might not hold up well, but what's going to hold up? It was up enjoyable well? at the time. But well, yeah. You look at these uh, articles that critique the um, 80 shows in, 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 term, in night of 2020 standard. And it's like, man, how those would never films would never be milled, made today. No, nothing would be. We, Remember what uh, uh, Jed would say? One of his uh, uh, phrases was, "We doggy." You know what's really funny is to see him in Breakfast at Tiffany. He was in the movie The Breakfast at Tiffany, and it just was like I can't look at him without seeing Jed Clampett. But he did a really good job. But I still sat. It's like, oh my God, that's dead clamping. <laughs> it was so sad because it's like, how could they not adjust to life in LA as millionaires? You know, they just well, how, how could how could the millionaires not adjust adjust to their country life and say, well, this is the way to go? <laughs> Grants and green acres? <laughs> green acres is a place to be. Farm living is a life. <laughs> I, oh, I used to watch that one too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're set. Let's go back. And okay. Then we'll close, and we'll try to close. Hey, the Terry's here. Hey, oh, hi, Terry. We're Terry, finished. is everybody done? Because we're done. Uh, we're done. Almost. There's one. There's one room that's really struggling. So oh, let me Ms. go. Butterworth. <laughs> let me go well, check. You'll with come them. back now. You hear? Well, I think we're going to end up closing the rooms really quick. So hurry okay, back. Okay. Well. Right. Okay. I'll see you back in the big room. Okay. See you in the big room. Okay. <laughs> back in the big room. So, um, Susan, did you get my message? I have a gift for you for next Memorial Day Eve. Oh, yeah, you said something. I'm not sure what that means. It's a little mystery. It's <laughs> a long time from now, girl. It's not a mystery what it is. <laughs> hey, Susan, can, can you remind me of the name of that? Uh, you did all those interviews for me. Can you remind me of that house, that, that museum? What was Zach it called? Baggins. Z-A-K. Zach Baggins. Yeah, Z A K B A G I N S. Haunted Museum. Oh. Yeah, I just listened to your last episode where you plug it at the very end. You said Susan Gerbeck was. was um, oh, and, and this, this week, um, Adrian does the Trove segment. Yeah, that's right. She's going to do yeah. the Trove stuff. Yeah. Okay, Susan Vegas, Kenny Biddle, Ben Redford, and yeah, I just speak. I was just chatting to Coral on um, chat. She was very. Oh, excited. she's very nice. She's very sweet. Yeah. Robin, <clears throat> did you? Were you watching the hearing? Now she's not. She's not making noise, but she's on mute. She's not on mute. You must have something turned down or something. Something wibble. Something unplugged. Otherwise, we just get to watch you. Just we'll put you in your mouth. <laughs> I'm Robin replay. just had a big thing of peanut butter. It's Robin. Hi, Robin. <laughs> she can't talk for some reason. She's got laryngitis. <laughs> We're going to watch her do everything by semaphore. <laughs> interpretive dance, Robin. Do interpretive dance. It oh, sounds like it's a problem with your hardware. <laughs> yeah, there you go. She can put a, 
she could draw it on a paper and write it and put it in front of us. So I'd unplug and then replug. Problem on your computer is probably either a software or a hardware problem. Well, I don't think it's Zoom is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's it's something probably concerning her mic. Just write Robin. it down on a paper and hold it up. <laughs> Robin, go to the arrow next to where it says mute and go to audio settings. She's on and, mute now. And <laughs> click like on uh, click on test mic. And when you speak, the, oh, yeah. the, the blue line should jump around or there should be a blue line jumping around. And I, I can't hear you, so I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, nod if you have the audio settings box up. No arrow near to mute. Mm -hmm. You might have to carrot. go and come back. Are you on a laptop or a, a tablet? Or if you're laptop. on a laptop, um, in the lower left, uh, there should be a microphone, and underneath it, it says mute, and there's a little up arrow next to that. Tap or that, join audio. and the and the latest latest thing, the 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 um, lowest lowest thing should be audio settings. Do you see that? And then you can, the second thing in the big box should be microphone. Yeah. Ah, okay. we heard you. Ah, okay. It's yeah. like what I, I said no. Try another microphone, and apparently it tried another microphone. So okay, uh, there you go. Great. I was looking forward to her doing it. At least yeah. it could hear you. Well, even now if you couldn't. can now you can mute yourself and do everything <laughs> via interpretive dance. Yes, of course. <laughs> Just oh, for Susan. So where uh, is everybody else? Or, or, like these are the people who are back from naming their teams or something. No, no, we've already no, we're first just, round. We're, we're on time. First round. I just we're, closed the rooms. We're coming back with answers from round. Oh, okay. It's the first round. I missed it the was, first round. Oh well. Perry did it. What was the subject that I missed? Uh, well, we don't know. Well, it's a mystery round. So the main we'll, round. We'll know in a minute. Theme. I know. The, the, the title was round. answers from uh, answers are on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Which, which apparently narrows it down a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, good one there, good one there, Terry. Sorry. Okay. So sorry to my team. Uh, I forgot. You forgot? I you for forgot to take my medications, so I had to, and it takes me a bit to take them. So. Okay. Well, here we go. So, yeah. Terry, you're up. Okay. Everybody's here. Yep. The, act the actor in mad 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 world and love bugs is buddy hackett oops i didn't get it in there oh just right about the buddy buddy hey. hackett yep uh let's see there he is okay number two that name of that movie was white lightning yay thank you caspian yeah yeah which is okay, which is also a name for moonshine. So mm -hmm. number three, the boxer who has a son in this theme is Max Bear. Yes. Okay, this was the one that seemed to get people, a lot of people. The name of that indie horror video game was uh, Granny. We yes. got it. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. I, went, I job, said Paula. Granny, then I said, no, nah, it's gotta be Critters. <laughs> oh, 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 Annie, which I couldn't I thought that was awesome okay the name of this song on the other side of La Bamba is Donna, Donna. Donna. Right. Donna. Donna. oh Donna the name oh well Donna. Wikipedia is Donna the uh name of the band who sang Aqualong is Jethro Tull I would have gotten that one yep <laughs> the the Dark. yeah <laughs> This this liquid, which uh, I'm going to have to send Leonard the link to, that because apparently it's the wrong definition. It's oil. Yay! Got it anyway. <laughs> okay. This. Uh, what if you wrote Texas tea? <laughs> <laughs> That's total. I'll give you Texas tea, man. Black gold. Okay. Black this gold. one. 
is uh, Don Drysdale is the Yay. baseball player. Mr. Drysdale. We figured this, that out. Yep. This young actress was Anne Hathaway. And if you haven't gotten it by now, <laughs> the it's Petticoat Junction. Is, it's Petticoat no, Junction. Green <laughs> Acres is the place for me. That's it. Well, they were spinoffs. Or, you know, all they're all spinoffs. Yeah. Yeah. All in the okay. Same universe, White yep. Lightning was what Granny, you know, drank and gave away. That was fun. Why did you pick that category? I mean, is that for like a favorite? Because yeah, I haven't done it yet. Additional. <laughs> Actually, I grew up watching it because it was my dad's favorite show. So I watched a lot of Beverly. Hills. It was a I number one song, thought, a number one show. You know that? Yeah. I thought Granny. I thought Granny called it the recipe. She did, but it was uh, another. She also called it White Lightning. Or they okay. did. Richard Saunders says his mom loved. Oh, show, loved it. And she loved would the show. Love yep. it. Yeah. Double overlapping from it. Yep. Yeah. Well, sound like you're in a cult. <laughs> you haven't heard right. you, you haven't know. watched beverly hillbillies i have, I have. no it's it's the cult of the 70s we, we had yeah. no choice you had to be there. TV with three channels that's yeah right. that's oh, right it's yeah. great okay so let's do our scores and we have for the first team autocorrect can kiss my ass pan that's what I want to hear. The Washington House Select Committee on Lousy Internet. Seven. Seven. The Spirit Fairers. Four, to? but we got four. the theme. So, <laughs> so is it five? Four. Or four. Four, That's including the theme. The theme. Oh, That's pretty good to get the theme from only three things you knew. Yeah. And then I don't care. <laughs> and, and we have. 50 sec seconds to go and we don't have a name. Nine. Okay, Damn so you. we're starting, Damn we got a tie. Granny. We got a tie Damn. between two Damn you, Granny. All right, very good, Terry. <laughs> Great Thank job. You. That was fun. That was, fun. Yeah, that was a good that category. Was that was very good. You beat me to that the punch. Good. I would have done that in about three weeks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you can throw that to you the curb now. You can still do it. No, I can't now. That was too good. Terry, I'm going to leave you with the co-host permissions because I have a feeling you need to be put in your room. And I have a feeling you're going to need to put yourself in your room. Okay. I'll take, off. I'll take your privileges away later if you don't. Okay. Need no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So now I need to let you guys know that the person who's up next with the round is Vincent. And this is the first round. So you have to be on your best behavior because we Yay, always are. Vincent. Oh, okay. Yay. So just our best behavior it doesn't Yay. have to be good behavior. I want best. Just our best. Yeah. The best we can do. Right. Yeah. Kind. We're not nice like people. Canadians, Susan. We could. We've been watching enough Canadians for long enough. We can do this. <laughs> I know. I have great confidence in you all. We can do this. We can be kind. All right. Actually, so you go know ahead. What? And Vincent's Canadian. in a different. He's in a different location. He's. He's uh, has a. Um, he's in a hotel room, so there may be some issues. And I want to point out, his mother is beside him. So. Best behavior. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Yeah. Hi, mom. Oh, they're saying hi to you again. Hi, Vincent's mom. I have my um, video. Off. She's kind of. She's she kind of. She thinks he's in a cult. Too dark in here. All know. right. Yeah. You can well, reach reminds up. me of halfway through Wordle. <clears throat> oh, how can you be halfway through? That thing takes like seconds, right? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. That's no. What I meant. Yes. Go ahead. Let me tell you all about Wordle, Susan. It all began <laughs> one day. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> He got muted. <laughs> I have the power of the boot. Okay. Go ahead, Vincent. Okay. Uh, the theme will be self evident as soon as I put them, as soon as I say the questions, you will know the theme. So I'm not going to say the theme. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh, Kyle, can you move Challenge mute accepted. So Make sure you unmute yourself, Vincent. Okay. I am unmuted. Or so I believe. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. I was kidding. I knew that. Uh, I don't know if the numbers will 
transpose or not. Uh, I think I can do the first five. Uh, B. And let's see how this works. Paste. What? Well, that didn't work. That work? Oh no, it worked. Hey, great. So number one, what 1987 movie was directed by Steven Spielberg and starred Christian Bale, John Malkovich, and Miranda Richardson? Number two, what color is emitted? I don't think they're getting into the chat, Vincent. Are they getting in the chat? Hit enter. Hit enter. I did hit enter. Try I return. It. There it is. Oh, there Yay. we go. Wait, so there's five things that just went in. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's that's what I did. Five initially. I'll okay, there do you go. the next five afterwards. You did it right, whatever you did. All right. Woo! All right. <laughs> Get, get better at this. Spelling alert. Spelling alert. Oh, it's perfect. It's Canadian spelling. Oh, the oh, because <laughs> of the color. Yeah. Wordle does not accept it, so neither do I. Oh, okay. So again, uh, number one, I told. Number two, what color is emitted by the sun? And if you say yellow, uh, you're wrong. What is the deepest layer of the sun we can observe directly? Number four, or that was number three. Number four, the core of the sun reaches what in degrees Fahrenheit? A, 100 million degrees, B, 200 million degrees, C, 25 million degrees, and D, 27 million degrees. And five, what is the name of the group that recorded the most successful commercial version of the folk song, House of the Rising Sun? There is a house in New Orleans. Okay. So, um, Oh, oh, Whew. that's good. Copy. Paste. Enter. So what did I end off with? Five, six. How long is a typical sunspot cycle? A, 11 decades. B, 11 years. C, 11 months. D, 11 weeks. E, 11 days. Or F, 11 hours. <clears throat> Seven. In the United States, what city has a yearly average of 90% of sunny days or more than 4,000 sunny hours per year. Uh, number eight, true or false? The sun is elliptical. It is an optical illusion that is perfectly round from our perspective here on earth, but you can see its true elliptical shape during sunrise or sunset. Nine. What percent does the mass of the sun account for in our solar system? A, 50.55%, B, 75.76%, C, 99.86%, or D, 89.85%. 10, how many minutes does it take for light to reach the earth from the sun round to rounded to the nearest whole minute and i did have help from um adrian so is is the theme the sun <laughs> you would you would think that wouldn't you and yes yes it is oh thanks I can, for I can that see richard it. 
I can see it, right? Who else can see the sun at the moment from where they are? <laughs> I'm in the basement. I can't see I, it. It's, it's I'm in the, the basement, so I can't uh -huh. see it. It's, it's just pouring rain of the in sun. Oregon. It oh, is it's, rain. Rain. it's sunny Ooh. here. I can't. I'm not looking at the sun. Well, I think it's amazing here. I am. So I can see the sun. I'm, yeah. I'm on the other side of the globe, you know. And I yeah, really we, we're, the, we're both and, looking at the sun. The same, um, the same sun out there, yeah. I can see the reflection of it off the moon. That's all it is. Anyways, can I put <laughs> your sun's upside rooms? down? But anyway. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Very, very good. We're, um, Kyle sent us to our rooms, but okay. it looks like some people are not in the rooms. So I will take me a few minutes to get over there. I've got to put you guys in your rooms. Okay. It's weird how oh. this works. I don't know why it does that, but it does that. Are you are you going to do that? I yeah, I'm gonna take care of it right now because I have a list of who's in what room. Okay. So um go ahead and go to your room. You've got your powers. Can I just go into yeah, go my room then? You, you didn't ask if there are any questions, and I do have a question. Oh, you do? Can I wait? What question? For what? Well, the one with the city is a problem because like if it was say it's not, but say it was New Jersey and it was Newark, well, Trenton is 20 miles away. So it would probably have the same. So how do we decide which is the city? It seems a very odd question. Because I'm sure there's just not one. And how do you define how many people is in a city versus a town? I know, you know, I had the same question myself, but I just went with what I read on <sighs> like the, the we will sun. be fine. I'm sure we will be fine. So, so you either get it yeah. right or you get it wrong. Yeah. Um, yes. It looks like room, room three is asking for help. So you might want to go to room three. Okay. I'm going to go to room I three. Let anybody know I'm trying to get everybody put into the rooms. Room five. Why, why am I not in a room again? What happened? Because everybody um, about the Zoom sucks. You got pushed out of a room. The why. Zoom sucks. So I'm trying to look and see what room you're in. Mm. I'm in yeah. five. You're five? It looks like mainly it's five that's having the problems. Yeah, I'm in three. Thank though. you, Larry. Five. Yeah, it looks like five is mostly the problem. Rob, you're in. Three. Three. And Robin, you are going to go into. I need to get a room. <laughs> <laughs> get a room, girl. Yeah, you're going to three. get into my room which is now two. Oh, george is so cute i just saw george's little picture when i came in oh hi team hi um, are you on our I, team yeah you're yep. too oh because it's vincent's oh, category because, because vincent's category yeah so far susan we've got uh emperor of the sun for one white light what? for two and corona sphere for three yep we're looking number at four. Number four is the animals. Gonna, number four, I was going to say that's 25. Five. Oh, that's five, yeah. But how does the animals have anything to do with the theme? Well, it's the, song, the, song the house title. of the rising sun. Oh, okay. okay. So, all right, yeah. yeah, it was the animals. I thought, I think it's the animals. I and or is it oh, yeah, it's for sure, 100%. Okay. Jamie on four. What do you think? I thought it was 25 million, I'm guessing, but. I'm, I'm thinking that too. 25 million Let's go with that yeah yeah if two of you think so we could be two wrong million. i'm guessing no. 25. that would be terrible what would we do we'd have to come to your house and you to, you. <laughs> yeah you can you get all wet it's pouring i can't believe how much it's pouring okay how so eric, right? eric burden and the animals right for the house of yeah. the rising sun yep that's good. Right. very good so uh oh, sunspot cycle it's 11 years but it's weird because Peak to peak or trot to trot, that's double that. I think trot it's to trot. Trot, trot to trot. So it's a like a wave thing. It's uh, double yeah. that, but it's 11 years. You 11 know, years. From, yeah. I'm that's so cool. glad I'm around that's smart me. people. I know, isn't it great? I, I just go. I'm so happy that me. I could know what. <laughs> <laughs> First one denied, I think. <laughs> so number seven, Phoenix. I was going to say Tucson. And and they might <laughs> both get 90%. So there might be more than one answer. Yeah. So I, 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 grew up, I, grew up, I grew up in Tucson. That's what we always said. 
Well, let's roll uh, with that then. Tucson's fine with me. Tucson or Phoenix. Out there. Which is Tucson, the furthest south? Tucson is souther, right? Souther? Yeah. I like how we make up words. Yeah, tu yeah Tucson is further south. So I don't know. Um, it's souther, Janine. It's souther. <laughs> South or oh, reasonable word. I think we should go with the South or one. <laughs> but, but, what about, but what about something like Palm Springs in California? Oh, no idea. Hi, Vincent. Interesting, maybe. But the fact that both of you pegged it initially in Arizona is telling to me. And Palm yeah. Springs, I've been a couple times and I've never heard this stated quite that way. So it, it could be true, but it's not one of their bragging points. Yeah, it so, be, so Jamie said he heard it that way. Yeah, if you heard kind that of. in Tucson, let's go with Tucson. Yeah, but that's, that's because everybody Adrian. in Tucson. Says, it's got sun please. right in it, Tucson. <laughs> Adrian, Adrian commented about that one question. She says that is the greatest question ever. I love it. So it's like, oh, oh I actually picked. And Rob, I actually Rob, picked Rob was it. challenging him before I got here. <laughs> challenging one. Okay, right, that's true fine. or false? I think this is false. Am I no, going to have the sun is oblate. The, the sun is oh. elliptical. Oh, okay. that would make sense. The Earth is an oblique spheroid. I expect the sun would be too, given that it's, it's cooler than a plane. Yeah, it's oblate. I'm more comfortable with with just round things. I think I think no, it makes me uncomfortable. I know me too, but I'm I'm this willing thing, to. Go I want to go this. hop around. The I can I can adapt. Because it's so interesting fine. to be able to see what everybody says in the room you're in right now. You're going to be able to see the recording of. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, it's go, been go to the other rooms. Go to the other rooms because we're almost done. Okay. Yeah. So we're going false then because it is not. No. He lived true. It is the sun is the no, we're it, is, it is. No, we're going true, right? Oh, okay. True. true. The sun is no, the no, I just said that because I was being silly, but you know, we're all sort of used to the the map of the solar system and the little round balls, and it's kind of comfortable. Now they're not yeah. round. Ooh. No, the sound. No, no the sound. I'm with you, Peggy. Percentage so, of is, mass. I think this true. one has been a question before. Could this, be. It's huge. Sounds um, familiar. It really it's, is. I, I was mean, the only peace. thing that's otherwise is Jupiter. And and Jupiter's just, a lot smaller than. It is. I think it's, so it's it's more than fifty, right? It's got to be more yeah. than fifty. It, ha it has to be C or D. You think so? Yeah. Then I yes. would think D. Because even though you're right, it is overwhelmingly large in comparison to everything. There's also gases and all types of stuff out there. Oh, but the mass, yeah. Uh, yeah. But you're right. Mass, Jupiter's the biggest, but then it's like a geometric distribution. There's something that's half of that and half of that and half of that. So you think 75? Mm, oh, no, no, I'm thinking D. D? I'm thinking I go with either D. C or D? See the C or D. I was going to say C, but you say He's D. so extreme, though. I may it could be, but I'm leaning towards D. What do you guys okay. think? Yeah, Jamie. Um, I, I was going to say C, but so was I. All right, let's do C then. C it is. Yeah, I, I would go with either one. But it could now be how D. many minutes? It's probably less than a minute. I mean, I isn't it eight expert. minutes? Isn't it eight minutes? I thought it was six or nine. Six it's, minutes? it's around there. Yeah, it's small, but non-trivial. I I always thought it was six, but I know it's. I can't remember numbers to save my life. So any number okay, so I ever repeat is is not. Well, the average usually is closer than uh, to the answer. So we have six, eight. What was your guess, Jamie? Six. Six. Okay, six okay, yeah. and eight are about the, modal the same. Average they all have six. They all have curvy th things in them. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's six because I mean, it seems like they'd there's, say, there's you know, two the, people who think it's six. I'm good with six. If this, if such it's and such six. blows up, we'll we'll have six minutes to six minutes. find out. <laughs> Yeah, that we and then we can argue on what kind of light. <laughs> White. Yeah, let's do that. Let's argue. Which which yeah. one do do we want to argue on? Kyle? Uh, if we're coming down to the minutes, do they mean the what what type of light? Oh, oh, what type of light it's coming? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Because the gravity wave gets here first, I think, and then the visible light. And 
Oh, Maybe we can squeeze you know, that. So if, I might have been thinking of communications to some place. Yeah. Okay, so our answer so far, we think it's Empire of the Sun for number one. We've got white light for number two. We've got Corona Sphere for number three. 25 million for number mm -hmm. four. Just, um, yeah. I can't. Oh, it's the um, animals. The animal there for. Mm -hmm. And there's my writing again, foiling my ability to read. 11 years for number six. Mm -hmm. Tucson for number seven. Um, true. Elliptical. And the mass of the sun. You think it's Phoenix? What do you, you said Phoenix. you lived there and they said it was, that's what they used to use as bragging. <laughs> they Were always you said living it, but in they... Phoenix or Tucson? I used to live in Tucson. I, the, I can't uh, believe that it wouldn't be both. If it's one, it should be the other, right? Yeah, yeah we said right. that Tucson Southerner is more yeah, Southern. Tucson, what is the word? The Tucson Southerner. Southerner. Southern. And Tucson might brag about it. Plus it the has sun head. and Kyle is right. It has sun in the name. <laughs> I that means true. something. <laughs> I'm fine okay. with that. All, All right. right, everybody got okay. Vincent. It's only okay. one point, Jamie. It's okay. okay. We have elliptical mass of the sun. We have number C, a letter C, which mm -hmm. was um, 9986. 99.86. And finally, we have six minutes for the so, so light to read the, reach the Susan, earth. I don't know how to call people back. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. That's the I most fun, be... Vincent. You have to learn how to find where you are. It it's the great power of the fingers. The oh, most yeah. fun is if you scratch. Well, actually, the I room. think we should. Um, I'll I think call them back when I leave the room. I think we should change okay. the answer to, to Phoenix. I really do. Phoenix? All right. Okay. Well, because it's, I think because it's called the Valley of the Sun. Isn't that what Phoenix is called? I thought Phoenix was rising from the ashes. Oh no, that's the bird. But the city is the the Valley of the Sun, and the Sun Devils is the the football team at the university. It could end up being Mojave, for all we know. But... <laughs> <laughs> or... <laughs> okay, officially we're changing to the. I theme. have a feeling I'm going to be challenged on these questions, and yeah, uh, just, I am just going to get so frustrated just if I am. Just, no, don't, don't worry about worry. it. Just yeah. choose your answer, and that's what it is. Karen will, Karen will yeah. have you back, too. Okay. You, you can decide whether you want to give people other answers based on the instantaneous research that they will. I guarantee you do. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't overthink it. Just yeah. say, no, I researched it. This is what I have. It's less about feeling bad and more about not letting the power go to your head. <laughs> oh, well, I don't want to <laughs> No, believe me, there's no power going. So, Kyle, ahead. seriously, why don't you and Linda come up this area? We're going to have um, That'd be great. Saunders is going to be here on July 8th, 9th, 10th, that weekend. And um, Ross Botcher said he was coming up this way too, and probably would get together on Saturday, I cool. think. He's going to visit his in laws or his, visit his family in Santa Cruz. So, of course, Peggy, you're in the area, so you can come by. And I missed the last one. I'm so I know sorry. you blew it. We had Jan and her husband here. It was really nice. It looked fun. But of course, okay. you just it's just obvious. I don't have to tell you way in advance, Peggy. Except that you go only and like some 12 weird hours thing. drive for me. Well, you're so welcome. Believe, anybody's welcome I'm, to come over. I don't have places see? for you to stay, but of course we can I'm stay. I'm I'm staying home to watch John. Yeah. He's doing well. Good. Oh, That's good. All Stay on time. Jane, where's your husband? Isn't he playing tonight? Well, I left him watching the the summary of the January 6th. What channel uh, are you watching? MSNBC. Ugh. I was watching PBS. So you really liked uh, Meow Wolf. Isn't that a crazy? 
please. That, that was that was one way of saying it. Yeah, it was definitely crazy. Um, <laughs> I would highly recommend that clown <laughs> show I went to. That was a blast. I mean, we didn't even know we were going to go to it until we were finished with Banachek, and it was so early. And Celeste says, "I was going to take Ben to go see this clown show." Do you guys want to go? I said, well, it's up to Sterling if he wants to go because we were going to fly out the next morning, but it was still really early. What are you taking? Sterling goes, I'll go. I would definitely. Go I'm I highly know. recommending I it. It was so. Put it this way, Deborah would be crying in laughter. <laughs> it's right up Deborah's alley. Very uh, body. It's a clown um, show. It's clowns. And it's like t- small tables all over and you're sitting there and you get a clown nose to put on and everybody's and the, and the show is happening between you and they're walking next to you. And well, that's perfect up. for Ben. Okay. Well, it was kind of fun for Ben, but Very it was, clowns. the humor was really great. And um, I sent, I just told, I talked to Jay today and I told him to go and it's, it's, it's just, it's like lots of innuendos and some of it isn't subtle at all. <laughs> And their clowns' costumes are fantastic, and it's a murder mystery. Some clown gets killed, and they're trying <laughs> to figure it out. And then other clowns get killed, and as they the should. Clown. Don't don't, yeah. don't, <laughs> they don't should. give it away. It was a lot of fun. Okay, Why so would, Vincent. Oh, there they are. Here we go. There, there are the. Uh, okay, uh, Empire. So you want to read them off? Well, number three is wrong. Yeah. Um, if you I, say them, Vincent, the people can hear it on the recording. I figured that number three was wrong. That's what it gave me. And it's like the end that I got was what you guys picked. So number three is the photosphere. Vincent, oh. if you read them, what uh, we get to hear your voice, which is great. <laughs> and the people watching the recording will know what the answers are. Yeah, because you can't see the chat. Oh, okay. So number one is Empire of the Sun. Um, number two, the Sun of Forces. Your audio, is, your audio is breaking up, unfortunately, right now. Empire of the oh, Sun sorry. Sun. I'm, uh, it's... it's I'm, it's um, kill, internet kill, access. Kill, here. kill your video, Vincent. That might kill help. your video. Kill my video. Okay. These okay, things yeah. are usually transitional, so it should be okay soon. Okay. So, uh, number one, Empire of the Sun. Two mm-hmm. is white. Three is not the corona, it's the photosphere. Uh. Four is D. Five oh. is the animals. Uh, six is B. Seven is Yuma, Arizona. Wait, right. what? Uh, yeah. For six, what is it? Eleven, Eleven years. Eleven years. Okay. Eleven years. Yeah. Eleven years. Eight. I saw some people arguing about this one because the question was. I tried to word it as best as I could to make it false, but the the answer is false. The sun is a perfect sphere. What's that? That doesn't seem right. We it's exceptionally point, close to a perfect sphere. Illusion. Peggy and yes. I feel better. It is, very close it is, to a, a, perfect it is astonishingly close to a perfect sphere. Not, yeah. not perfect, though. The elliptical <laughs> illusion elliptical. occurs at sunrise and sunset. So someone was arguing about that. So nine is C. 99.86%. Eight. Yeah. And uh and ten is and ten is eight minutes. Hey, thank you. Oh. I thought it was six. Nope. Yeah. It's six minutes. I was sure it was, I thought eight, it was right? seven. It's always been eight. It's six in Yuma. <laughs> that's, why it's, that's why it's hotter there yeah. and sunnier and stuff so i'm hoping yeah. that my team got 10 out of 10 but you know, <laughs> they're laughing the i don't know no, i'm kidding it sound like it. <laughs> I'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding it's good. I hope good job Vincent. we haven't had a science category 10. in a while that was very that's since let it did it yeah, good that job. was that was really good. Oh, well, not exactly uh, true. Actually, just one month ago, I did our nearest star, which was the sun. Well, that was right. a month ago. Yeah, 
Well, Thank you, Vincent. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a while. The sun was being done. Oh. Thank you, Vincent. This well, you know, only, only one question was similar, so it's good. There's a lot of yeah. different facts about this. Okay. One. That was a great round. round. Great. Very good. Um, Vincent, you you posted number three. The answer was the corona. Right. But that's, but that's wrong? Yes. Adrian gave that to me, and I thought... And it, Oh, Adrian. Well, I so say we go no, with Adrian that's... since we agree with Adrian. Uh, no. I'm going no. with Corona. No, no, no. It's, it's the, <laughs> How do you spell? It is the photosphere. You know how to spell photo? You know how to spell sphere? Uh-uh. I don't know how to spell sphere. Could shoot Adrian into the sun and S F E A R. Thank you. No. 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 It's not called the photo ellipse. Not, you know how to spell here? We're using circular logic on number uh, eight. I, uh, I, like, I like the way Caspian did that. I agree with uh, President is, Theodore Roosevelt's oh, plan to yeah. change the English language to be spelled phonetically. I like there you it. go. Yeah, but that's, not, my, that's how I not, not Canadian. Text, texting is kind of doing that for us, unfortunately. But they yeah. use numbers too. Here. I don't know. I think I think there's more than I think the brain is able to adapt to multiple ways of spelling things. I'm not into oh, that I'm elitism of having to have Susan, everything. Susan, who has correctly. done that most of her adult life. Yeah, or pronouncing it. Why? Why can't we? And, and I just for some watched, reason doesn't like wordles. I'm just I'm not yeah, yeah, to understand. Yeah, I just it's watched. It's I just watched the 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 chairman of the January sixth committee pronounce words creatively. So like X. There. <laughs> the way he said the former president's first name. What did he say? I don't want to say it, but it's oh. as though it didn't have an A in it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I got to listen to that. Somebody I, was going to uh, ask. Or a something. D. No, I was just going to say, Vincent, you should have done a starry, starry night uh, question. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Does everybody understand that reference? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should have told you, Vincent. It could have been a Superman uh, 4 reference. Uh, all right. Did you miss that? I guess they'll listen now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this, right? I saw can't last go Friday. away. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, our stars. No hope. So we're going to start with the spirit bearers and see if they did better. How'd you Eight. guys do? Eight. There are That's in four. Let's take this moment yes. to 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 look at the scores and how they are in the lead at the moment. Isn't that nice? Celebrate. Celebrate. Wait, wait, so which two did we get wrong? <laughs> oh, lost. Uh, I lost. Well, we had. Oh, Phoenix I got it back. Yuma. The what? What? We had Phoenix instead of Yuma. Okay. It says then, my internet connection is unstable. The true Susan? false one. Yes. I want right. to point out but you got her name wrong. No, I thought we said false. I thought we did. What did we agree it's on? Did I have it wrong? My I think that we put true down because yeah. we. Oh, I just no, copied it off of the uh, screen. Right, yeah. yeah, but the it's autocorrect right. autocorrected it. Yeah. <laughs> Update. Thank you. How's that wrong? It should be A S K. It was spelled both okay, now ways because it had been in okay. the chat multiple times. Yeah. It, <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have uh, the Washington House Select Committee on Lousy Internet. What do you got? Janine? Um, six. I counted. Six. Okay. Ugh. So let's go down to, we have 50 seconds to go and we don't have a name. Eight. Oh, that's respectful. That average. Okay, I don't care. Ten. No. <laughs> no. An autocrack can kiss my ass. Autocrack. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Same Ten. Seven. 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 Speaking of, I don't care. I'm in that group, but I don't care because I'm not in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, where were you anyway? Two groups. He's with us. We need him. All right. Well, okay, thank sorry, you guys. Kyle. We're, we're going to need picture? him when it's, when it's Carl's turn. We're going to need him. So we're going to do a group picture real if quick. If he's smart, he did an easy category so we can get a perfect score tonight. Yeah. Ask thank you guys that. for good luck with that. Standing. 
Thank you, Vincent. No, that Thank was good. good. That was good. That was, that was fun. That was good. Wasn't that scary, was, was it? I liked it. Okay, so we're going to do a photo. Was, Everybody uh, looks like they're here, except for Hey Hey, Paula. Who's Paula? Never. Hey, hey. Paula. What? Hey. We can't see hey. any of you. Hey, hey. Paula looks like Paula's Please give us the top of your head. There, there you go. go. Okay. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Let me make sure I got it before anybody goes anywhere. Looks like I got it. Okay, so five you, minutes and be back quickly because it's gonna be it's gonna be more like three minutes. Well, it didn't say three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, she, she you caught up five. yet, Al? I already set my timer on my watch. That's what it's gonna be. Sorry. I'm gonna set it for four. <laughs> Wow, Richard, you were playing Wordle while you were here. Wow. He's in the before times, so he yeah. can tell you the answer. I got it. Yeah. Uh, it. So tomorrow's Wordle is uh, oh, something. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you got, yeah, none, you you just... got none on the first guess. That makes sense. If you tell us that we could get it in one guess and put it on Facebook <laughs> and brag about it. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. You well, could do it in, in a minute. No. Hey, hey, Ron, that third word I would change to lumpy, L U M P Y. <laughs> I will say that today's Wordle, which is tomorrow's Wordle for you, took me one, two, three, four, five. I got it on it the fifth Took me all six this time. That was hard. Hector. I tell you, it's a cult. We're back. Well, speaking of cults, how many, how many Johnny Depp cult members do we have in this room? Me and Susan. Anybody else give a shit about the Johnny Depp trial? They're, they're all watching it right now. Karen. During break. <laughs> they all took their break to catch up on the trial. I had I had a friend defriend me on Facebook. I mean, I'm a leftist, but she defriended me on Facebook because I didn't sympathize with Amber Heard. Huh. And I like to think that I live in a reality-based, I, I live a reality-based life and my ideology may be left, but I if the facts of the case are not it was, pointing um, to... It's hard to imagine a more stark case of... Um, of of, of, of a lying, lying witness. A lying, lying, yes, it, yeah. It, it was extraordinary, really. Extraordinary yeah. how, how blatantly she was lying. Yes. Um, I, I, I was trying to think, is this a publicity stunt? Because there's, there's lying, you know, yeah. witnesses lie, and you, you know, you, but, and then there's just this extraordinary, um, <laughs> whatever she, there has to be a new term. Honestly, it was just mind boggling. It was mind boggling. And, and it was obvious and it wasn't even clever. And the, not even a anyway. little bit clever. No, uh, I, I would say the new term should be, she was trumping. Trumping? <laughs> it was it was really funny that during the closing arguments there was an amber alert and everyone's phone was going off and the judge said <laughs> it's an amber alert and apparently there was thunder and lightning going on at the same time so <laughs> amber alert <laughs> hey by the way if any of you guys uh, go to costco they have a great yeah. tira tiramisu you can oh i've there. i've i've had that and those glasses are really nice and yes, I, use them I got we have a whole stack of them now i reuse them when, when i make lemon curd mousse Ooh, yeah <laughs> that sounds good a lot of lemons around right now some every all my friends have lemon trees we have a lemon tree also but everybody's trying to give give away lemons just like during tomato season everybody's trying to give away tomatoes Time for lemonade, Stan. I know. Yeah. Seriously. <sighs> lemonade, Stan. That was very early Apple program. Apple II. So how was the interest in Australia for uh, the Johnny Depp trial? Are they into it? Huge. Huge? Yeah, yeah I imagine. It was, we could watch it whenever it was on. People were watching it. It, made yeah. the, it, was, it was huge news. You know? Yeah, there's some really um, interesting people uh, doing commentary on it, and one of them was a guy named he calls himself Law and Lumber. Susan's seen his video, 
he did like a it was almost like a Mythbusters episode where he did a mock-up of the broken bed and basically proved that what she was saying about the broken bed was completely ridiculous. Yeah. Completely divorced from reality. Not Here's a Mark. Hi everybody. Hi Mark. Hi Mark. Hi Mark Edward. How's everything going? Good. You're hey, saving Mark. some tequila for me, Mark. Tequila? I don't care <laughs> anything with booze in it. <laughs> I don't drink, but I'll get you some tequila. Come it's on. all right. I'll get your big bottle. Oh, yeah, that's what we want as a drunk. We have Saunders. tequila. We have the tequila. So, yeah. Ooh. So, Richard Saunders is going to be here on July 8th, 9th. Oh, nice. Yeah. We'll have to have people over again. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to come. I can't, I can't wait to go to that little Rob? Mexican restaurant. Yeah, Michael's. That's on Saturday. Oh, Richard, I wanted to ask you a question. Wait, when's okay. the trip to Michael's, Susan? On the 8th. On the Saturday? All right, Richard, question. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you here? Um, do you know what a Wellerman is? No, on the 9th. On the 9th, the Saturday. A Wellerman? A Wellerman. Are you guys? I, I, because I, you know, it's no. one of these things. I keep hearing this, you know, that, you know, that song, the Wellerman song, the sea yeah, shanty, the, the sea shant, which I discovered yeah, is not a sea. Oh, yeah, that, sea that's shanty. that's going around at the moment. No, I don't know yeah. the term. Okay, now I thought you might, because it turns out that I was looking that the guy who sings that, who was singing that song, is uh, apparently it was actually it, it's it's from New Zealand. I know it's not Australia, but it's from New Zealand. <laughs> And apparently, mm -hmm. it, which was really surprised me. And uh, apparently, the Wellermen were were like sort of like the, I guess it'd be like the Sears uh, Sears catalog guys. The guy, you know, the or the oh okay or something. They they they're waiting for they they. That's the name of the company. The name of the family oh. on the company that used to deliver all that stuff to new to the to the fishermen in New Zealand. Oh, oh yeah, that's that makes a, sense. No, not here though. No, it's not a, it's not an Australian thing. Yeah. Okay, but I, yeah. so we're back. We are. Okay. <laughs> that at least two people. Yeah, minutes, I'm answer. counting. So let's do some announcements. Um, Janine, why don't you go first and tell us what the dates are for your um, and what's going on with the Oregon? So if you can make it to Oregon in August, we have a celebration for Ray Hyman. So on August 13th will be the Oregonians for Science and Reason Skeptic Camp with um we now have um lauren pancrantz who's faculty oh, cool. member from the toolbox um and uh let's see if i can get these uh paul slovic who's the founder of decision research it's a nonprofit that does risk assessment and uh, risk management um, and a psychologist and a noted a noted scientist. Um, and we have Effie Greathouse, who's the founder of the nonprofit Fluoride Exposed. And um, we have Mark Crisplett, who is a writer for science-based medicine. He's an infectious disease specialist from Portland. And Susan and Mark, <coughs> excuse me, and potentially one more speaker, uh, maybe on biotechnology. And then this, the next day, so Friday, there'll be a skeptics in the pub, but just go hang out at the pub where we hung out for the toolbox. Saturday will be the speakers. Um, I have reserved a place uh, in downtown Eugene for dinner if we want to get ready, get together for dinner. It's just in an outdoor patio at one of the pubs, uh, the Falling Sky Poor House. And then Sunday afternoon is an open house for uh, event type event for Ray Hyman. Uh, at the same location as our skeptic camp speakers. Cool. This is going to be a lot of fun. So everyone's invited, and anybody who uh, would like to honor Ray or see Ray, mm, please. And, and that's well worth the trip just in itself. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So that'll be a blast. Okay, so I've got... So you're going to uh, come back to the U.S. for that, Richard? Oh, yeah, yeah, I would love... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, easily. All I need is lots of money. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And, and put up with the airfare. So I'm gonna go real quick before um, <laughs> Kyle and Saunders goes. And I wanna mention that we're gonna have Skeptical is coming up. That is a virtual event. You guys should definitely do this. It's, it's inexpensive, it's three days. It's gonna have trivia. We have all kinds of really fun things. So I hope you guys all register for this, even if you can't make the exact date because then you'll have exclusively be able to look at the videos for six months and that's skeptic Calcon. you can look at some of the different speakers we have for that which are amazing and then also um cyclone is coming up in october you got to plan for this way in advance that's in fabulous vegas which is going to be so much cooler than what i just put up with so cyclone i will be on the stage as well and definitely you got to make cyclone it's it's like this but bigger and in person <laughs> so uh Susan, saunders what do you got for a skeptic zone they are in they are in the chat yes they're in the Susan, chat would you put the link for the california one on the yeah i did chat. it's right above this is the first one skeptic alcon skeptic okay. yeah you guys gotta I'm, go to virtual i think i'm taking part in that again this year as part of the um you know the, the uh, mm -hmm. uh, relaxed what was it called the informal chat and meeting yeah meeting i think group. you are yeah. Okay. Coming up this week on the Skeptic Zone podcast, episode number 714 for the 12th of June. Special guest reporter Susan Gerbeck speaks to Kenny Biddle, Ben Radford, and Coral Pollock at the Zach Wagons Haunted Museum in Las Vegas. That was what mysteries do they uncover? Also coming up, we have a segment about the references and use of homeopathy on TikTok. TikTok homeopathy. And the Trove segment this week is with guest Trover Adrian Hill looking at references to reflexology. All that coming up at skepticzone.tv. Very good. I'm always listening. Um, Kyle. Hey, well, actually, this week is a really good one on Data Skeptic. Uh, one of my favorites in a while. It's called Haywire Algorithms. Um, just to give you a quick background, if you don't know much about machine learning, it's the kind of thing you train on historical data. So what happens when that historical data abruptly changes, like during the pandemic? I interview an oncologist about uh, how that panned out in some of the models he looked at. That's uh, the latest this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. Anybody have really anything cool else? Really cool episode. Anything else we have? Any upcoming talks anybody's giving or going to be at or whatever like that? Okay. I will broach the subject again that next week I have Jamie giving the bonus and we have four of nothing. So I got one. Kyle. Ooh. All right. Who else? Hands up. I'm willing to do it, but I did the bonus today. So I don't know if you want me again so quickly. I'm going to put you in in case nobody else says anything. Okay. Well, I have another category for the same ditto <laughs> as for Gail. Okay. Well, let's, come on. Let's see some hands. I'll do one. Kevin. I'll be in Ireland for the next two weeks. Oh, and she's going to send oh, back amazing gosh. photographs. They have internet oh, there, gosh, Robert. Laura. Do I see they Romero's have... hand up? Huh? Romero had his hand up. So I was stretching. Um, yeah, huh? Uh, that's what I hear. It's <laughs> a bad time to stretch if you weren't volunteering. <laughs> do I have anybody else who wants to do it, or should I let uh, Rob go again? I'll, I can do it if you want. Okay, Romero. Thank you. And then I'll put I'll put um, Rob on the next week. You put um, me on the next I, week too. Okay. And who's doing the bonus? I don't have anybody. You want to do it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's on the bonus next week. I don't have anybody for the following week. I'm not too worried about it. I'll twist arms until I have to. If I have to, so I know ben I don't ever have to. In a while, right, Ben? Have you done a category in a while? I have not. I don't hear him volunteering. <laughs> okay, so I got enough for next week, and we've got to start for the following week. So I'm happy about that. All right, so let's get uh, started back good again. For the week after that, next week, not next week. The following week, I'll be on call, so that'd be a bad. Well, it's not a good time to do it, huh? Because if I could be pulled away at yep. any time, so. But maybe it's like three weeks and I'll be ready by then. Okay, that'll be fine. So now we have are you are you are you an oncologist? 
Yeah, He's right. on call. Get it? Uh, 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 I have an oncology appointment tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me. I think it's a nine thirty. I better look at time again. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here we go. Robert Palmer is up, and I, I guess it has something to do with sand or tables or glass. It's on or, or perhaps oh, time. time. Like sands of the hourglass, these are the days. Hey, did I just lose my powers? Did you? <laughs> did you? Who, who does that? Who, who do I do that? Who it has said... the power to take Susan's powers away? <laughs> That's fine. So did, I, did, I, did I so lose my powers? No, will. it says your host. It still says Okay, but it came up with a big sign for me to, to click on the button that says that I'm recording. Okay. That's weird. That is weird. All right. So. Um, I was the first player to do a category after Susan stopped doing them all, and that was back in February of last year. And I chose the category for Susan because I knew how much she would love it. And uh, I'm going to do round two of the same thing, which is... Wikipedia. More tremendous time travel trivia. Oh, time travel. Yay. Okay. <laughs> nice. I thought it was... Oh. Susan's favorite. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting my team in, in the foot here, for sure. I'm Remember, I'm on your team now. Okay, mute everybody. Here it comes. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, question number one. The work of fiction that is credited with the first use of the phrase space-time continuum in English literature is The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. True or false? Question number two. This is a science fiction TV series and it concerned Project TikTok, a top secret US government effort to build a time machine. Two scientists travel back in time and become involved in historic events, such as the sinking of the Titanic, the attack on Pearl Harbor, the eruption of Krakatoa and Custer's last stand, and the Battle of the Alamo. Question number three. This one's going to be an audio. Give me a second here. Okay. In a fan favorite episode of the original Star Trek series from 1967, three of the USS Enterprise's crew traveled back in time to Depression era in New York City with the help of an ancient sentient portal. When asked if it is a machine or a being, the portal, the portal cryptically replies as follows. I'm neither. What? I'm neither. I'm neither. I'm neither. So what does the entity call itself? Question number five. In this TV series, time travelers are sent to our present in a one-way trip from a post-apocalyptic future in an attempt to prevent the collapse of civilization. These people have their consciousnesses sent back in time, transferred into the host body of individuals moments before the recorded time of their deaths. Besides joining a team of four others to support the director's plan, each operative must assume the lives of their hosts as a cover. Question number six. In this 1989 film based on a 1977 short story, Air Raid, pollution has rendered humans of the future unable to reproduce. The salt Wait, popular... where's number four, sorry. What? Yeah, four is missing or, or five's been re, uh, numbered wrong. Hmm. I missed four, okay. I just- so... All right, so four is five. No, 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 I just missed doing four. I'll, I'll do four now. My Excel bumped. I think it's a clue because it's a time travel category. It's going to appear out of order. <laughs> ah, very good. Why does my Excel keep doing that? All right, number four was 
and is. In the 1979 film Time After Time, H.G. Wells invents a time machine in London only to have it stolen by his doctor friend who uses it to escape his impending arrest by traveling 86 years into the future to 1979, the year of the film. What nickname has Wells' friend come to be known by? Okay, so now we're doing six. That was the inspiration for the Sydney Lauper song. <laughs> it's the true. Okay. <clears throat> I'm skeptical, but I'll go time with it. Time after time. Yeah. All right. Um, so I was reading number six. I'll do it again. In, in this 1989 film based on the 1977 short story, Air Raid, Pollution has rendered humans of the future unable to reproduce for some reason. To solve the population crisis, teams are sent into the past to abduct people who are about to die and take them back to the future to breathe. A screw up occurs that while, while abducting a large group of people from one particular situation, and it's a central plot point of the movie. The movie is Millennium. Name the situation. Brother. Oh. No, nope, nothing Can't to do with a, no, nothing to do with a brother. Number seven. This was nineteen eighty nine. Number seven. The British comic. This British comic science fiction film follows two avid science fiction fans, one might say nerds, and their snarky mate as they attempt to survive a time leak, which they encounter in the men's room of the favorite pub. One of the leads is Anna Faris. Faris. Anna Faris playing a time traveler from the future named Cassie, who is initially present just as an observer, but who becomes intimately involved with the three men in their time travel misadventures. One of my favorites. Number eight, the Marvel 2001 TV series Loki takes place after the events of Avengers Endgame from 2019. In the series, an escape by Loki, which did not happen in the Endgame timeline, creates a new divergent timeline. The series centers around the Time Variance Authority, the TVA, a bureaucratic organization that exists outside of time and space and enforces a single authorized timeline and arrests Loki for his transgression. What is the single approved and enforced timeline called? Number nine, this film stars Jean-Claude Van Damme as an officer of the Time Enforcement Commission in 2004, enforced with policing time travel. It is in fact Van Damme's highest grossing film as a lead actor. Question 10, can't be time travel without a back to the future question. In Back to the Future, Marty McFly travels back in time 30 years to 1955 in the DeLorean time machine. That trip began in the parking lot of the Twin Pines Mall. At the film's climax, he returns to 1985 and we see that the mall's name has changed due to Marty's actions in the past. What is the mall's new name? And I actually have a bonus. Oh. Bonus question. This is a 2014 Australian film based on the 1959 short story, All You Zombies by Robert A. Heinlein. It's very complicated plot involving numerous journeys through time is described in this fan's graphic. Beware spoilers. I'm going to share this and give you the link. There you go. So you will you will get a copy of this and I'll put it in the link now and make sure before we go that you can get it. Ooh. All right, here's the link. Somebody click on that, please. Yep. Okay, any questions? No, go to your rooms, good luck. Yes, why are the questions so long? I thought you were against the length of questions being that long. 
<laughs> wanted, to, wanted to give you some help because none of them are multiple choice. Only I'm when I'm kidding. doing them, Kevin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Isn't it funny how sometimes I people get sh shot out of the rooms and, and other times they don't. We haven't done anything different. Hmm. Okay, so let me go to your room and, and try to talk them out of their question. <laughs> <laughs> Just be quiet. No, no, I'm going to go there and act confident mm -hmm. like I know these No, things. don't. Because please. you did a category that's We're in last sucks. place as it is. Time travel. Good gracious. Give me a break. Jules Verne stuff. Okay, we got Susan. Okay, I'm here to talk you guys out of the category, the correct answers, because no. I hate time travel. <laughs> <laughs> I love time travel, but I just don't watch enough science fiction to be well versed. I don't know too. I don't know. Two scientists. Top movie. secret U.S. government effort. Oh, it's in a, the tunnel of time. The Tunnel of Time. Well, okay. my, my grandma used to watch. I mean, that's the Spanish. Sure. Title. TV I don't know what would be in English. I like it. Okay. And uh, Star Trek uh, series, uh, he was known as the Guardian of Forever. I'm trying to remember if that's what he calls himself. Or oh, I didn't remember that. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he says at the end of that, he says, I am the Guardian of Forever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's definitely what he is referred to. I just trying okay, to remember if he had his own name for himself. That makes sense. And then I don't remember what. Who's his sidekick? Yeah, what his sidekick's name is. Yeah, these are some lengthy questions. What nickname has Wells' friend come to be known by? <sighs> I was not yet existing. Don't well, know. If no one knows off the top of their head, let's move on. We'll come back to that. Okay. Romero thinks number five is travelers. Yeah, travelers. Is it just called travelers? That sounds familiar. Yeah. But not like time travelers or anything, just travelers. I, I, I yeah, remember it's, it's there was time show. travelers, so I just call them travelers. Time yeah. travelers was a good show. That was a good movie. What was it about? Midgets. <laughs> you mean little people? Dwarfs. Let's be, let's dwarfs. be a little bit more. There were dwarfs and little people because they're different. And they were on a ship and they would go back into time. That was actually kind of cute. I remember the Millennium TV show that was the spinoff of X Files, but I don't remember the Millennium. Wait, you guys have not have not seen Time Tra Time Travelers? It's like a major, major popular movie. No, oh. it was a probably, oh, man, probably guys are, decades ago. No, well, some of these yes. questions are decades ago. It was really funny. Anyway, so, so was the next one the movie Millennium name the situation. A screw up that occurs while abducting a large group of people from one particular situation is a central plot point. And what was the situation? No idea. I'm I don't trying. even know the movie. Millennium. Yeah, I've never seen the movie or heard of it. Yeah. All right. Number seven, moving on. Okay. British comic fiction film, two avid science fiction fans and their snarky mate as they attempt to survive a time... So that Maybe was, it's like an elevator that's about to crash, or a or a bridge that's about to fall, or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's number six. We moved to number seven. So number seven is the one with um, and, uh, and Simon was, Pegg. Yeah. It, I just can't remember the title of the movie. It's like it, this of, isn't this isn't um, the one where they have the zombies and stuff outside the pub, right? No. The no. other Dawn one of the is, dead. This is, a, this the is dead? a newer movie. I'm sorry, I'm absolutely no help in this category. I, I don't know because I didn't see it. The only I thought one you said I you like time travel. I do like time travel. I just 
It's like so I'm world not world. I'm not big popular culture. I'm more I'm better than you are, Susan. But hey, and I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's gonna bug me because I know the ex I exactly know the movie that he's talking about. I just can't remember the actual title. Okay, number eight. I never saw Endgame. The Sacred Timeline. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, the Endgame Sacred Timeline. sucked. Don't even try to watch it. It's awful. Superhero movie suck. Time Cop. Time Cop, right? Yeah, I think you're right on that one. So the he runs into the tree so there's only one i just can't remember is it called like single pine mall anyone remember lone like pine the science, is it lone pine mall it might be lone pine mall that sounds familiar because i'm like it's not just single but it's like something specific oh because one of the trees is knocked over yeah he, he runs into yeah. one of the trees with the delorean like when he comes back in time so okay so 2014 Australian film. I read the short story, but I don't know the Australian film. What was the short story? It's by Robert Highland. You what was it about? There's a a woman that becomes, becomes a man. Own, yeah, and becomes his own father, grandfather, father. father. Everything. Basically, this is like dark. Right? Okay. Oh, man. I do not know what this is. I guess I haven't seen it. Sounds fun, though, based on this graphic. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? I don't know. So we don't have four, six, and seven. Okay. So we think one is false, tunnel of time. Guardian of Forever. We need uh, what nickname has Wells friend come to be known by? Is this after his thieving ways? Maybe. We need someone that knows H.G. Wells uh, better. Because, of course, Carl's going to know every one of these, that bastard. Of course. <laughs> I can say that because, you know, he's my friend. The TikTok man. And the Millennium movie is not ringing any bells with anyone, right? No. Darn it. Pollution has rendered humans of the future unable to reproduce. Uh, Could it be they like... were in an elevator that was about to collapse and everybody was going to die? No. And they sneak him out real, real quick. Stuff that occurs while yeah. adapting a large group of people. Hmm. I don't know. Is that just, uh, I mean, you don't have a memory of seeing something or you're just guessing, uh, Susan? I can't. Which question? You remember seeing the seeing millennium? Um, I've heard of I've heard of a scenario where people were, and it might have been in X Files. I don't even know where everybody was in the elevator and they're about to die. I think it might have been X Files. The guy who had the insurance agent, and he could see when they were going to die, and he tried to sell people insurance. He'd oh. see people like in black and white, and then he followed this woman, and he says. He's looking at her and he's following her through the halls of her business place and she's black and white. So he knows she's about to die. And then she goes, oh, it was a guy. It wasn't 
I don't think it was an insurance agent. It was just some guy who could tell when somebody's about to die and he wanted to die because he could never die. So he was trying to be there at the cusp of right when somebody died. And so he, he watched the woman get into the elevator shop, in, into the elevator. And then as the doors open, she was creeped out because he was following her. And right as he's looking at her, everybody in the elevator was all black and white. What if they were trying to rescue people oh, cool. from a bus crash and they accidentally did it on a school bus? And took children instead of adults. Well, you know, you would think they would not want to take the people because then their bodies wouldn't be found, right? So it should be in a scenario where they might not recover bodies, like a boat accident or something. Right. Something where if the bodies aren't found, it wouldn't be so obvious. Well, like a no, plane crash. I told Susan not not to not to try to help. <laughs> trust me i'm not <laughs> we're trying to figure out this millennium question i'm not remembering this movie i guess i didn't see it how's everybody doing rob was everybody doing fabulous only it was in one room the one with i can't believe you put them together by the way carl and leonard and, and uh, they, they, they got need they to got, never be in a team they, together they got them all so. of course they, they did <laughs> they need to be split apart susan they're never there. allowed to play together again. Let's call number four. Let's go the TikTok man. Why the TikTok man? I don't like know. <laughs> time. Is that Benjamin Button or whatever his name is? No. No. But the TikTok man is a character from the Dark Tower series. How about we call him Lou? You want to call him Lou? We can call him Lou. But a nickname. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. What about Dr. Time? He's a doctor. Call him the doctor. The doctor. Oh, God. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. I'm just very disappointed there's no questions about dark here because it's a very good movie about time travel. Rob, are you ready to call us back? Well, I got to check some other teams out. Well, you better hurry your ass up. Well, we got two. Susan, we have two that we don't have answers to yet. Stop screwing us over. Yeah. Well, okay. So the it. Anna Ferris bathroom movie. <laughs> when did it come out? 1937. I'm no. ready for this category to be over already. When did it come out, Ben? <laughs> it, it had Simon Pegg, and of course, it had his buddy that, was, you, Robin? Was in, um, that he was in Shaun of the Dead with because he's in all yeah. of his movies. Like end of the world or something. End of the world. Scott Pilgrim and the end of the world or something. No, Scott Pilgrim is totally different. Okay. I'm gonna work on my genealogy. But, but you said the end of the world's in the title. Yeah, because he like they go they go to all these different pubs. Um, Simon Pegg plays an alcoholic in this, and all of his friends are pissed off at him with his behavior. But then at the one pub they end up having it turns into like from being a, a group of friends who Simon Pegg is like alienating all of his friends turns into like a time travel type. Shaun of the Dead. No, yeah, not, but Shaun, not of the Shaun, Dead. Shaun of the Dead. I've already I've already said no to that. That's a different movie. The last skeleton of cadaver. C this is a this is a much mm, I mean it's still older you now, said but it's you, much more but what recent. did you say was in the title? like end of the world or something i just can't remember and it's gonna make me mad because i really want to look it up but that's cheap end of the world the restaurant at the end of the world yeah nope the pub at the end of the world bill and nancy <laughs> fred and ted so for number six do we say that they tried to save people from a plane crash submarine a yellow submarine <laughs> um i'm yeah, wondering like what funny. it's a, if it's a screw up what did they do that was bad like did they take people that were not that about to die yeah they took dogs. They they accidentally saved Hitler, and he went on to become 
the evil person that he was. I was about to hit the close and I see that you changed it back to one minute, Susan. Ugh. I have never changed it. Oh, I, we could we went all over trying to figure out how to change it how you maybe, got it to two minutes maybe could not figure it out that's funny maybe let's just a, put what do we get for number four yeah we looked all over we're like how does how does he get it to two minutes oh oh i remember now do yeah, we I just want to call I, it the I end of the world i don't have powers for some reason otherwise i could do uh, it you have yeah. powers that's I how you're able this. to move around the place well, well that's weird because it's not showing me the security setting thing which normally is what the case is if you have powers that's weird um, can i just say that simon Pegg movie robin is that enough is it has something to do with time travel, <laughs> travel. <laughs> uh, Rob, only, it's time only, travel only if no one else got the entire actual correct tile um so like it's on the tip of my tongue but i don't remember that the exact wording and all right so what's the scenario for number six elevator uh, shaft let's put it since uh i don't know how it's gonna remind me not to get on any elevators with Susan. <laughs> <laughs> well you guys can put whatever you want i'm just thinking that that would be a, a really good one you know how about the Pull end them out the right at the right at the moment right before they they crash into the and that's random people elevator shafts yeah, they get in an elevator and it, it's going to kill them all. Or a bridge. Have you ever seen Russian Doll? No. I'm yes, not. I love that show. Because there's the favorite sunny spots. Um, Why aren't the cats in the washing? That's what, where mine always want to be. Well, let's see if I can. It's a bit difficult because the sun's very bright, but uh -huh. there are two of them oh. up there. Uh, I see one anyway. Yeah, what one's sitting up and one lying down. Yeah, I, see one yeah, of them I, I see moving yeah. cat like yeah. figures. It's just too, it's just too bright because to, it's camera. I'll I'll take a picture. I'll oh that's picture. that's strange. It's dark here. How come it's yeah, it's there? <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with the shape okay, of the I disc we're on. There's uh, some sort of look like, it's like getting dark anyway. Something threatening Ron. That's I right. Tentacle waving in front of the screen. Yes, this is Katniss. Katniss, oh <laughs> hi, Katniss. Aww. And somewhere over here is is Primrose, but I can't find her. Oh, That's what, look at those guys! Oh, from the Hunger Games, right? So, yeah. and on the and on the floor, they leave Catman do. Uh, <laughs> Cat can do. Oh, there's Richard's kitty. And back there is no kitties. C. Leo Patrick. Yeah, I'm really? sorry, Susan. I have to keep my video off because um, Wi-Fi. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the the Wi-Fi. It is just really bad here. You remember that next time. Don't go to that hotel again. Oh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. So ready. We'll I've guys. been ready. I've been yeah. ready to get out of this category the for first a long, time. long time. <laughs> Yeah. For, the, for the first time this was done, uh, the scores were 10, 10, 10, and 9. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see. Um, I, I, looking at that, I made them a little harder. Maybe more. No, we went back in time and fixed them. Yeah. Okay. Question number uh, one. Um, uh, uh, so was space-time continuum, continuum first used in the time machine? No, that is false. But it was the first use of time machine. Which is ah. fascinating. Um, the number two, the TV series concerning Project Tick Tock and the two scientists lost in time. I hope most people got this. The time tunnel. Hey. Mm -hmm. Ellen... Ah, we didn't. Uh, we have ah. the, we have the tunnel of time. That's the Spanish version. That's the that's the Yoda ver the Yoda version. The Yoda yeah. version. I watched it in Spanish. Uh, I watched it in Spanish, so that's why. I, uh, <laughs> hey, I think we should get a pass on that one. What do you guys think? Mm, let people vote. Because because oh. Ramiro gave us that uh, answer. Um, you know, I'm, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. I trust Ramiro. It's okay. All right, number three, uh, the Yay. fan favorite episode of the original Star Trek. Uh, in answer to the uh, question, um, what did the entity call itself? I am the guardian of forever. 
There you go. We can't Cut hear out. it. Repeat it. Cutting out. I am the guardian of forever. Thank you, Leonard. Did it perfectly. Uh, Good job, Leonard. My team were right. I was wrong, and my team were right. What did you think it was, Richard? Eternity. A guardian of eternity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So close. I got I conflated forever and eternity. That's in my very mind. close. And I was corrected. Number four. Uh, so who was a Wells' friend who was a doctor, a convenient uh, alibi for having cutting tools, and somebody who was from that same time period? Doctor Slash. Was. Jack Dr. the Slash. Ripper. Oh, how stupid. Uh, played by David Warner. Yep. That, that's correct. Bloody. Jack oh, the Ripper. Brother. Also Never called uh, the Whitechapel Murderer and Leather yep. Apron. If anyone thought I of those two. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, uh, another movie that they can't write. Uh, actually, I thought it was fairly clever. Number five. Um, so this was a fairly recent service in 2016. Played for three seasons. Travelers. I heard uh, some people getting that. I there love the way go. that's written. Um, yeah. num- number six, a clue is actually in the first sentence, uh, air raid, because the scenario was that people were abducted from a plane in, in mid flight that was about to crash. So they had a whole yes, bunch of people. Yes, we got that, it. Yes. No he was right. Right. And, and more specifically, the scenario, you don't have to put this, but they dropped an artifact. The, the people from the future dropped an artifact, which survived the plane crash, which then caused a mystery. What the hell is this thing on the plane? So, but yeah, but it's good enough uh, if you said there was uh, number seven. Uh, one of my favorite movies, and I heard Carl likes it too, is frequently asked questions about time travel. Never seen, seen it. it. Oh, so watch what's the name of the movie? <laughs> watch it and what's watch the name it again right away. And also, and also, by the way, if you, if you find it, watch through the it's got it's one of the earlier films that has a mid credit and an end credit scene. Yeah. What's the name, so, the, movie? the name not, of the movie? You're not frequently asked question questions like about time travel. What? Oh. The answer is don't frequently ask frequently questions. Frequently asked about questions. Time yes, but what's the name of the movie? Oh. I don't understand. What's the name of the movie? <laughs> Number eight. Can one Who's person on say the name of the movie? The, it is frequently asked <laughs> questions about time travel, Susan. <laughs> Who's on first? Did you like it? You're not what's just on second? Us? I tell you that these are time travels, <laughs> just an excuse for bad writing. Brilliant writing. Number eight. Okay, so the, the Loki series, uh, what Brother. was the single authorized timeline called? It is the sacred timeline. Uh, we wow. say God, is that about the same thing? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Number nine, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme's uh, highest grossing film was Time Cop from 1994. Yes. Yay. So uh, the answer for the Back to the Future question number 10, uh, the, the group I was watching got this. And it's most people don't know this because it was never said out loud. It was literally just in the background as Marty passed the sign for the mall. So it started out as Twin Pines Mall. And when he goes back to the pet, the first thing is DeLorean hits is it runs over one of a pair of trees, leaving one standing. So at the end of the movie, it is Lone Pine Mall. <coughs> Thank hey. you. Hey. Hey, good job. Good job, Faith. And the bonus for that uh, very convoluted uh, chart is, sorry, Richard did not know this, an Aussie film. Uh, It is (laughs) Predestination from 2014. Now, it's a great short story. I hope the film's as good. Yeah, I never read the short story, but definitely the film is intriguing. Predestination. I, I think this is on Netflix. Ooh, that would be cool. Okay, that's it. Ah, uh, yes, a film wow. about the phrase. Did you paste the answer? Go f yourself. <laughs> time bandits is the one I was trying to think of. You guys, uh, said time bandits. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, it's time a, bandits. Now that's a fun one. That's oh, you seen the the pilot of the Twilight Zone? That was pretty good. Speaking of Netflix, there's a movie on Netflix at the moment called Interceptor. Has anybody seen it? No. I'm 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 in it briefly. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we gotta watch it. I get this. Predestination is on uh, Netflix. Oh, cool! I'm gonna watch it again. I haven't seen it in like ten years. Sweet. So here's a scene from this movie, which is on eight years. 
uh, Netflix at the moment called Interceptor. This is set in New York, and that uh, that's me there. What's it about? Huh? Oh, cool. Yeah, there I am, uh, walking in uh, New York. Richard? It's about dog <laughs> flea collars. Wait a minute. They flew you me have... to New York. No, they didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Were you playing Somehow a chassid? I don't buy that. I'm Were you playing a chassid? What is that? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I take it back. It, it's not on Netflix. It's it's on Prime Video. I'm just looking on iRoku. On Amazon. Okay. Better. Yeah, it's on Prime. So we feel I filmed a scene in New, a New York street scene with hot dog vendors and cabs and all sorts of things in for about Sydney. four hours in Sydney, <laughs> and they used about four seconds in the movie. So there you go. Uh, well, that's a that's a better ratio than usual. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, so scores. So let's start with the team, the Spirit Bears, which is a team I was on. And this is Rob's team, by the way. Seven. Okay. Not in the lead. In the lead. <laughs> Not in the lead. The Washington House Select Committee on Lousy Internet. I got eight. Janine, am I right? Eight. Yes. Nice. Yay. Okay, they're in the lead. Briefly. We have 50 seconds to go. We don't have a name. Um. Autocorrect can kick, kiss my ass. I think we had eight. Uh, okay. And I don't care. 10. 10. They went back in time. Carl, Carl, eleven, actually. Did, did you act, did you get eleven? Did anyone? No, I think we not, didn't. We get definitely didn't, not. Did we did anybody not. get? Did anybody get the bonus? We didn't get eleven. Right. No. Oh no, we, we didn't get the bonus. Get the bonus. No, no we idea had, what the bonus. We was. didn't know what that was. You know, oh. we need to handicap Carl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought somebody was going to do something on sanitation. I could torpedo my team right now. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm on his oh, team. Davis You're me for Carl. <laughs> Rob, a bonus is only a bonus if at least one person gets it. Otherwise, it can't be literally called a bonus. <laughs> so, yeah, we're trading Susan for Carl. I, I actually am a shop Carl would get it. Carl for Susan. I thought yeah. we were going to get a bonus because we caught that DeLorean was spelled wrong. What? <laughs> Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You spelled Delorean wrong. And Canadian spelling. <laughs> oh, the L was. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Wait, wait, how do you spell it? I gotta correct that. E A N at the end. Yeah. No I. Carl's up. And on that note, I have to uh, recuse myself from tonight. Oh. oh. Thanks for staying for three rounds. That's bye, Ron. Good. Bye, nice. Katie. Bye, bye, Ron. Talk to Take you later, care. Bye. bye. Hi, Ron. <clears throat> All right, so I was going to do another movies by bad description, but uh, uh, three quarters of the way writing through the round, I came up with a different idea. And I went with that. Oh. <laughs> what do you see behind me? That is the Russian poster used for Star Wars. Oh, wow. And oh, so holy it's interesting it to know Russia? that when they, when they the release hell? American movies, in other countries, they often don't just translate the title, but they just pick a different title. So this round is going to be foreign titles for American movies. Oh. Fun. Uh, these started out very hard. I added a little bit of help, so pay attention to the help in parentheses. Number one, uh, mute everyone. Anyone muting everyone? Oh, sorry, on it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The first one is I'm Drunk and You're a Prostitute, co starring Elizabeth Shue, drama romance from 1995. Number two It's Raining Falafel. Animation, adventure, comedy from 2009. Number three, Vaseline, comedy, musical, romance of 1978. 
Number four, Dimwit Surges Forth, Comedy Sports Football from 1998. Number five, He's a Ghost, Drama Mystery Thriller from 1999. Number six, The Incredible Journey in a Crazy Plane, comedy of 1980. Number seven, Big Liar, directed by Oliver Stone, biography, drama, history, 1995. Number eight, The Great Team Inside the Head, Animation Adventure Comedy from 2015. Number nine, I Will Marry a Prostitute to Save Money, Comedy Romance from 1990. <laughs> Number 10, Love is in the Sky, Action Drama Military from 1986. I will marry and, a prostitute to save money. That's that's got to be a team name next week. All right. And then uh, I have one or two bonuses here. Ace God. Comedy fantasy from 2003. And just to throw in and hope to push everybody more towards higher scores, we'll have a second bonus. Very Bad Trip, comedy from 2009. All right. So you're not Figure saying which what, foreign, foreign language these are? I, I will, I, when I give the answers, I will tell you which country the, the name is from. So, so these, so at these least are, one of these, these, at least one of these is a Thailand title. So these are, you didn't make these up. These are really uh, the these real These are really for... the names they released films on in other countries. Cool. <laughs> and we have to give you the American name. The, yeah, the, the, okay. the, the, the actual American name of the film. Okay. And these are all American films. Okay. Kyle is not enjoying uh, for some Susan. reason. Susan. Yes. Susan, I'm still, uh, I still have co-host. Okay, well, don't say anything to anybody. Okay. I think so does Terry. You guys are being good. I don't care. Hello, team. Hello, team. Hello. I, what what, what happened Kyle. to Kyle? What happened I'm to Kyle. Kyle? What happened to Kyle? Is he, on a, is he on a team? No, he just read the categories. No, that was Carl. That was Carl. Where's How Kyle? Kyle? Oh, I thought I put him in here. He's never been in here. Th that's what that's what it says on your score sheet, but apparently he's in a different room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so did I mess up something here? Let's see. Well, it'll really I mess him up if you yank him out of wherever he is now. So Kyle is an I don't no, Kyle's not an I don't care. No, he's not. Oh, he was in um the Washington. Okay. No, he's in this. He's in the other one. He's in the spirit fairs. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's raining falafel. Is um, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh wait, we'll see here. Because the time, uh, the the time scale's about right, and it's an animated film. So that's. You know, I, I could have I could right? have done a whole nother round with name the country that these are from. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's really a hard. ghost. Has got to be oh, Ghostbusters. No. Um, just ghost. Ghost. Yeah, I thought it might, might be just ghost, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm drunk and you're a prostitute. <laughs> you know what? Could it be? Um, it seems like I've heard that. Pretty I know. Lady, pretty, pretty, pretty lady or whatever. Pretty woman. Pretty, pretty, pretty woman. woman. Oh. 
I couldn't possibly have gotten that, it right. So that's a so. good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna it write it down in case we don't. Did think Pretty Woman come out around then? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting to be an old movie now. Yeah, Vaseline. Bits and pieces of comedy it. musical romance, 1978. Uh, which, which one are you looking at? Three. Three. Vaseline. Comedy musical. Vaseline doesn't it sound like it would be like hairspray or. <laughs> Was that a musical? Yes. Yeah. Hairspray. Yes. Hairspray. With um, Divine. Right. Um, okay. I'm going to write it down just in case. Okay. Four. Tim Witt surges forth. <laughs> Comedy sports football. 1998. I'm drunk and you're a prostitute. Wait. So I said uh, Pretty Woman was I will marry a prostitute to save money, right? Oh, is that what I said? Is that the one you meant? Yeah. We, weren't, we weren't on nine, but okay, is that what I'm you sorry. meant? I'm so rarely know anything. <laughs> I'm <laughs> dead. I'll try to preface your answers with what, what um, you're answering. How about, how about number three is Greece? <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, oh, that, um, oh, that's probably it. Yeah. 78. That sounds right. Yeah. Greece. Yes. Greece. Yes. Okay. I'm drunk and you're a prostitute, Elizabeth Shue. What movie did Elizabeth Shue play a prostitute in? 1995. Pretty sure I didn't see it, whatever it was. Oh, um, 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 uh, oh. Liza Minnelli and... Um, um, Cabaret? No, 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 no. Victor Victoria? <laughs> Victor it Victoria? The drunk guy who fell in love with Liza Minnelli, he was supposed to marry this. He was from a very well, oh God, what was the name of that? Um, um, hmm. God, I can't think of the name of it. Huh. It was one one word. Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm drunk and you're a prostitute. He was, he was a drunk and he got caught up with, with and Liza. Liza Minnelli was, was in that? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, they couldn't translate Arthur to just be somebody's name, Arthur. <laughs> Okay, Incredible Journey and a Crazy Plane, 1980 comedy. Hmm. Oh, oh, that was. Um... <sighs> Got to warn you, there's some teams out there that looks like they're going to have a 10. Oh, that, won't, that, that, won't <laughs> that won't be us. That won't be us. That, 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 that. I might have gotten one. So, so let me know. Uh, was, movie movies by Oliver Stone. There haven't been all that many. Uh, Ninety five. The JFK one. Number seven. That was later. Mm, I think. Liar. Biography, drama, history. Nixon. 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 Nixon was a big Nixon? liar. That's for sure. The Incredible Journey in a Crazy Plane was the guy that played in Who Were the Three Gals that were the spy. Oh, oh wait, no. Oh God, my memory is bad. <laughs> The Great Team Inside the Head, animation adventure comedy. And that's another movie that I know about, but I cannot think of the name of it. Inside somebody's head. Inside. In like animation? Yes. Yeah. Inside someone's head. Oh, what was the, oh, what was the name of that? Being John Malkovich? No, no, no. It was an animated movie. No, it was like inside someone's head. 
Yeah. Um, but I can't remember the name of the. Jeez. Hmm. Inside da 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 someone's head. Inside, inside out. Inside out? Yes, yes, yes. Inside Thank out. You. Thank you. So that was eight? That was eight. Yes, inside out. Okay. <clears throat> Love is in the sky. It's not Top Gun, is it? No. That's not that old, maybe? No, it was about a, a, a flight that the pilot who was played by, what was his name? John something. He was the guy in Charlie's Angels. Oh, that you never okay. saw. You oh, right. His... Uh-huh. Okay. Well, all right. So we need uh, four six and 10, I think. <clears throat> love is in, what year was Love is in the Sky? Uh, in 86, 1986. 86. Hmm. Love is in the sky. Love is in the air? Well, it's a military action drama. Okay. When did Top Gun come out? But would that be a love? Was Top Gun a love story? Oh, it Partly. Had, it had some of that in it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe well, let's put that down then. Okay. Oh God, what was the name of that movie? I I can I can see it, but I can't think of the name. Nineteen <sighs> eighty. Are you think, trying to think of the one for four or six? Six. six. I'm still working on six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what the movie is, but I cannot, for the life of me, think of the name of it. Describe the movie. Yeah. What was, why was it a crazy plane? Because the pilot was crazy. Okay. It involves snakes. Well, that's been a, a long time ago. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember it thinking it was really stupid. So it was one of those movies you see once and you don't want to see it again. It wasn't the snakes on a plane movie. No. No. No, no. no. It wasn't that Barnstormer one, right? No. Which I didn't see either one of them, but. No. Tim went, went surges for comedy sports football. The only comedy sports football I can think of is the one was, I think it had Adam Sandler in it. Which uh, one is that? Uh, Waterboy. Heaven Can Wait. Is that a I was trying to think of that name, but is I think a, that was a, in the is 80s. He is Heaven Can Wait a comedy though? Yeah. yeah. But it was okay. the 80s, I think. Was it? Yeah, the one with Adam Sandler was uh, Waterboy. Oh, well, that could be too. Yeah, he, he is kind of a dimwit. And then he gets, uh, he, to, he gets to be the hero. <laughs> Want to go with Waterboy? 
John, she have something better. Well, you got no. nothing better. <laughs> no, that sounds good. I just wish I could remember the name of the movie. Number with six. The, with the plane. Yeah. Incredible journey in a crazy plane. 1980. East God. An ace god, yet yeah, um, <laughs> eleven ace god. I was thinking Top Gun, but that's the wrong year, and it's not a fantasy comedy. A very bad trip, comedy, two thousand nine. Hmm. Ace god, ace god. Is everybody have a hard time, Carl, or? Oh, you said one's um, got all ten. I think everybody else was about done. We're we're about done, but we're, <laughs> if we have all we are done. We're done. Thanks, yeah. Carl. <laughs> well, thanks for setting up a buffer. I think there's gonna be <laughs> several. There's gonna be several people who got ten. All right, well, no. it's okay. Well, they no. have to go a long way to catch up with us anyway, so or to catch up with you. <laughs> and. This and by the way, I have enough questions to make one or two more rounds in this category. Oh, in the dear. Future. oh thanks for the warning. <laughs> I was I was unaware of this phenomenon, and I'm sorry to hear about it. <laughs> I was aware of it. I didn't know how big it, how, how many movies I could come up with. I I was hoping I could come up with ten. And then, like round thirty, I'm like, okay, I've I've got plenty now. <laughs> yeah, I believe thirty is comfortably more than ten. Yeah, well, I, I think I've, I've heard of this with like TV shows. Even they have different. different you know, that names. could be around in the future too. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's on my radar for a possible round. Okay. Well, I should probably. Start the countdown soon. Okay. So, mm. Ace of God, 2003. Some movie with God or something like it in the title. But there's so many movies. There's Oh God. Yeah, that wasn't a, well, that well, was a fantasy. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was longer ago, though. I see. I think it was older than that. Yeah. Very bad trip. Oh, uh, what was that Bernie one? The the one with the he drove around with a dead guy. <laughs> oh, something with Bernie. Um, breakfast Bernie or <laughs> something. <laughs> I don't think it was two thousand nine. Hmm. I guess we'll all know him whenever he says them. I won't. Yeah, I have. A <laughs> I, I know I won't. I'm pretty they, sure I haven't. I haven't seen very I've many of them, of them, but I've probably heard of them. Yeah, but I would. I wouldn't have known that it was associated with these titles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Bob, you have no bird. I don't recognize you without a rooster in your hand. I'm upstairs. But you, you can say that differently. I showed him yeah. on that side. Right <laughs> I, was, I was thinking that. <laughs> I'm upstairs on your shoulder, I'll say. At this point. Yeah. He's usually petting his. But I showed. Rooster. Yeah. 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 Well, sometimes it's a chicken. You yeah, missed uh, I went over uh, to yeah. the neighbors and uh, this uh, one of his chickens was trying to catch eggs, so <laughs> he went and got four baby chicks and took the eggs away and stuck the babies in. she accepted them that's so she's what i'm thinking i'm gonna do tomorrow yeah i have so, a broody hen I, that's been sitting forever so I've, I've been wondering about, about eight and, i've and, been wondering about you two guys uh uh bob and janine are you guys uh vegetarians <laughs> no, no. I, do, you, do you eat chicken i only do you eat, eat chicken, chicken though <laughs> It's, it's what I, I can only afford. Eat chicken. You know, Bob, if you if, if that before. doesn't work out, according to Facebook videos, a golden retriever will nurse them 
And um, I've, I've heard that. Yeah. And a dolphin no, will a take them man. in as well. <laughs> yeah. so I have a cool great great sounds, sounds completely reliable. Can you cross, can you cross breed them too? Golden retrievers will adopt anything. They're so sweet. Yeah. This, this chicken is a great mother. And the funny thing is she's a uh, laying variety. It's a special uh, breed. I've got five of them myself. They and, have and they process. tend to, they breed the, they try to breed the broodiness out of them, but it always, you know, it's always a possibility. So she's, it's kind of unusual that she's, she's really broody and motherly. Avian prostitution? Avian. Avian. Not, avian not, French, not, the, not, not French water. Avian. Yeah, avian. Yeah, avian. <laughs> All right. Uh, we ready? Yeah, Carl, by the way. So I don't recognize any of those pictures. It's a little blurry. So from Star Wars, like what the hell? That That is the Russian movie poster <laughs> for Star Wars. I heard you, but I'm looking at the ones on the side. Like nothing looks like they even no, saw the film I, when I, they did this. Is that supposed <laughs> to be Vader in the center? Like I, the I guess. I don't know. There were some really bizarre foreign movie posters that looked like they had nothing to do yeah, with well, the movies this one. they were for. It was crazy. There were a lot in like in African countries like Ghana or Nigeria, Nigeria or something that were just off the wall painted posters right, so for making sounds, movies. Sounds like a lot of people did pretty well this round. Like maybe I should have left some hints out, but God no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm drunk and you're a prostitute is leaving Las Vegas in Japan. Yay. And I know Leonard got uh, this one right. It's raining falafel is cloudy with a chance of meatballs in Israel. Yeah, you I think probably everyone got Vaseline, right? <laughs> Greece. That, that's Greece and Argentina. Yep. Oh, wait, you wrote Vaseline. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Did I make a typo and spell it wrong too when I typed it back in? That's right. It? All right. So the next one, I, I don't know if Jamie got this right, but that was no. the water boy in Thailand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the one. Oh. All right. Now, uh, my favorite one of the whole round in China. Let's just give away the secret ending to the. Yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. What about Cooper's not seen the, seen the movie? Film. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. You <laughs> haven't seen Robin this has yet. never seen it. You haven't seen the well, six now you know. You're lost. Too late. Yeah, we we well, specifically well, commented about that in our round. You know, I was wondering. This. I was wondering about that, Carl, about a cultural thing of it like being rude to withhold, like, you know what I mean? Like, because it seems like that's so deliberate. It's got to have something to do with that. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, should pass a there's a lot of things I didn't use from China, but a lot of the times in China, it's, it seems like China just, the government had just an objection to the concept of the film and just intentionally screwed with them with the title they made a movie. I, I, I still remember being in the theater and the audience gasping, gasping at the reveal. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. It was they, good. They kept well that done. secret. They, they, you can't do that these days. Like you there's a million YouTube videos once. about a movie about to be released. You know everything about it. There was no nope. way they could have done that. Germany is often a very literal country. And so the incredible journey in a crazy plane is airplane. Yay. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> we went over and over that. You know what yeah. they called it in Australia? What? Flying High. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea the movie was called Airplane for years because it was just <laughs> only called Flying High. Yeah. yeah. It was a movie called. I think high. eventually a lot of people figured out that uh, Big Liar was what they called uh, Nixon, and they called it that yeah. in China. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We did forget that. We did oh, forget Nixon. That. Uh, damn it. Uh, great team inside the head is inside out in China. Good job, you guys. Yeah. I got mine. I got that one. Hey. I will marry a prostitute to save money is pretty woman in China. I got that one. No, no, we, 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 guess, one. we guessed that, but I don't think he needed any money. The guy was, I don't get that <laughs> title. Um, 
Well, talk yeah. to China. It does save money. Yes. Uh, love is in the sky. To save money. Is Top Gun uh, in Israel? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm. Now, Ace God is interesting because uh, sometimes in China, they will put the name of a character that the actor in the film has played in other movies. Yeah. That character is not Ace in this Ventura. movie. Or Bruce there Almighty. You yes. You got that. Oh, yeah. good. What? Yep. He played Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Ace was yep. not in this movie, but they still called it Ace God. That's funny. Thank you for remembering the name of the movie, Terry. And uh, the very bad trip is the hangover yeah. in France. Yay! Uh, the hangover. Wait, I think that's that? the one no, I was. That one. I hangover. was trying to think of that, but yeah, yeah, we got that one. We did. Okay. Got it. We know that one. Maybe if you had used all thirty, we would have all gotten tens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's enough to do a whole nother round or two. Who's got the noise? Somebody's got audio going. And there is a word doc of the entire round in the chat if anybody wants it. Okay, so here we go. The spirit fairs. Um, can we have our bonus points for previous rounds? Got 11. <laughs> got 11. 11. Okay, we got 10. Couldn't hurt anything now. Okay. The Washington House Select Committee on Lousy Internet. We got 10. Look at these guys. We have 50 seconds to go and we don't have a name. Well, we have 10. Wow, you guys kicked ass. I would have gotten one. <laughs> you and I would have gotten you and I would have gotten two. We got 12. <laughs> 10 really for uh, autocorrect and kiss my ass. Okay, I don't <laughs> care. Do you care? <laughs> we had seven. <laughs> Carl, oh, who is on the oh. team? Oh, that's awesome. That's because I was on the team. Oh, was oh that's Carl. awesome. <laughs> Everybody got 10 except your team. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Love it. You Love flash it. the scores too fast, Susan. That was, that oh, was perfect. Yeah, let me see the scores again. 10, 10, 10, 10. You're still ahead. Everybody got 10 except you guys got seven. You're still yeah. ahead. Yeah. And you're still okay. winning. Yeah. 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 I do right. apologize so to, to thanks to our first round, but I do apologize to my uh team members. I have to bow out. Uh it's getting late. And All right, I Vincent. have a very long drive tomorrow. So, All right. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Hey, Good night, Vincent. at least category. At least my team didn't get uh, didn't get last place. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, go on, Vincent. Have good sleep. Thank and, you very and much. Drive and, safely. And Bye. Good luck. Okay. Good Bye. Night. Safe travels, mom. Vincent's mom. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Vincent's mom. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Gail. She's up next for the bonus. It should be interesting. I'm sure it'll be different from everything else. Please make it something that I will enjoy. Well, I hope <laughs> it'll definitely be different. Well, um, our in. category is the top television shows from 2020 to 2021. Oh gosh. And oh dear. In, in, in the United States? Well, I'm gonna give you all of the disclaimers because there are so many of them. I just copied it right from, All right. from this, is, this is from Variety online. The source is Nielsen, it's 2020 to one season. It is live, average seven days, okay? Prime original, original broadcast, so it didn't include um, repeats. It, is, it did not include Spanish level programming, it did not include sports commentary, specials like special sports events or anything like that. And they also excluded were playoffs, finals, NFL jams, anything like that. And children networks were not included. And pro movies um, bro broadcasts and programs predominantly in the summer. For example, Big Brother and Love Island. What I want you to notice is it did include 
if a program has two happens twice a week, one is the Tuesday version and one is the Wednesday version, they were treated separately if it's met all the other criteria. Okay. I'm what years are we talking about again? 20 19, 20, 2019 to 2020. That season. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, 2020, 921, 2020 to 519, 2021. That season. And these are the based on the Nielsen ratings, and it's based on the viewership. There's also a Nielsen's rating. And some of these, they're very similar, but if you use the Nielsen ratings, you get a lot of ties. So, so this is using not, the number of people made a lot more sense. So not and necessarily, have, it's not network. It can be, it can be anywhere. It can be uh, cable, it can be net, a network. It could, uh, right, not. but what it has to be, services? it has to fit those criteria that I just put in the chat, right? Okay, so is, are, are we talking TV series <laughs> only or could it be a talk show like, like Jimmy Fallon or something like that? It includes anything that doesn't meet the things that they've eliminated. That's why I'm printing exactly their standards. Okay. Have could, could, Neil, could, could you, I'm, could, I'm confused by preliminary live plus seven days. What does that mean? It's the average seven day rate number of viewers. Does the, does the word telecast uh, exclude streaming services? That was my question. I'm I don't know the answer to that question. Like I'm, I'm, I, what you were seeing there is all in caps because yes. I copied their disclaimer. This Streaming is, services are always <laughs> on their website as their disclaimer. All right, wait, wait. Somebody was answering the question. Yes. Streaming services are always excluded by Nielsen. Thank you. Yes, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I didn't think streaming services means streaming like Netflix, yeah. Yeah. Netflix, yeah. Amazon, Amazon Prime, 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 Prime. Yeah. Plus, so it can be HBO, stuff. but it's not Netflix. And they were noticed that they're they're all program series, right? So it's an average seven day for the series. I have the list of the top twenty five programs. They did a hundred. That's a bit much. So what I want you to do is come up with any ten of that top twenty five. Okay. Does everybody got it? Yep. Yep. Any yep. questions? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kyle. I lost powers when I got disconnected. Sorry. <laughs> How could you lose your powers? Remember, My God, if I a gave program you, has, you got and know. this is, of course, a hint, right? If a program has an, a Tuesday version and a Thursday version, they were counted separately. I.e., a show could be on there twice. Who's going to take notes this time? Gail. You want me to? <laughs> sure, I can Kevin, do it if you want me to. Is it a, I, I've lost it. Is it a single, a single, like a show or a, a single evening? It's no, average. it's ratings for a season. Oh, for C. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. For a week. I don't watch. I don't watch enough TV to know any of this stuff. Well, what was Chicago, like, Chicago, 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 all those Chicago shows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, daytime dramas. Are they still doing daytime dramas? Um, where Where do you is uh, Game of Thrones on um, on uh, Netflix or is it? And that's the wrong years. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm That's the wrong. Game of Thrones was way was before that. Like it was eight. HBO. It wouldn't even come close to uh, qualifying. All right. So H and nothing on HBO would qualify. Not a chance. Okay. What's the other Chicago shows? Chicago. Chicago Fire. Is it Chicago Hope or something? Chicago. Oh, I've never heard of these. There's another Chicago show. I can't remember the name of it. How about Chicago one of the Star Trek Chicago. things? It can't be any sports. Um, 
I don't know if I watched any TV shows. Chicago, How about everybody? Is, is it Chicago of? Hope? Please read this to disclaimer that I put in chat. Much reading. That tells you the things that are not included. Anything that isn't in that list of not included is included. Maybe I should go get that list. It's pretty quiet in here. Who here watches TV? Well, I do, but still. <laughs> All right, Larry. It's your category. Yes, well, you, think it's about what things that you Larry. saw, like people talked about, or oh, how about that show All About Us? Or I got that like, one. This is us, number one. Oh, this is us. Okay, yeah, I, I remember seeing that in the Chicago Washington Fire, Post. Chicago PD. Is it? Is there Chicago Hope? I'm not sure if that's a show. Why is there so many Chicago stuff? I there think there, are, was, there was a there was a Chicago Hope, but I don't I don't. Yeah, know I'm wondering is. why why you're naming shows that have Chicago in the name because there because there they're aren't popular because there aren't any with Boston on it <laughs> because they're popular. I've never heard of I've heard of Chicago Fire. How what about soap operas? Name one. Well, Chicago Hope. There is, a, there is. I think a Chicago Hope. I just don't know if it was if anything about it. What's that uh, uh, cop show with uh, uh, NCIS? What's his name that played Magnum? That played Magnum. Hawaii Five O. Was that around in that 2020, no. 2021? Because that was popular. It came out recently, you know, it was a newer version of it. What about the Tom Selleck plays yeah. chief of police? How about Beverly Hillbillies? <laughs> what about what about uh daytime talk shows? Oh, so like um like an Jesse, Oprah or an Ellen, like Ellen. 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 Ellen, yeah, that would make sense. Ellen would have been popular. Yeah, was, I'm helpful. Yeah. Um, Does that fit the category? Well, it doesn't say that they're not. Prime shows. Prime. Yeah, it'd be fine. Well, uh, no, pr preliminary. Prime. Doesn't that mean prime time? No, I think it means no. that it's... Not so during COVID. So, so not uh, you know what? I think, I think Like we couldn't put uh, Tucker Carlson or anything like that, right? Yeah, you can. That would fit because they're really popular. Tucker, Tucker and Primetime Original Telecast. It's not a sports commentary, a special Spanish language programming, children's or a movie. Okay, so I would say put Laura Ingram and, and Tucker Carlson's show. And no, those are not. I'm sure Prime they're popular. But those are not in the category. Where do you they see them in the category? Predominantly live prime original broadcast. Okay, so what's the answer? Tucker, Flucker, Flucker Carlson, <laughs> and uh, Laura Ingram. Tucky Rose. I don't think they're that popular. They they they're relative. They're po re they're popular for what they do, but I don't. Know yeah, but not in not in the top ten, not in the yeah. top twenty five. Yeah. I'm just a guest here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Who's helping. <laughs> Judge Judy. Is she still on? Is she still alive? How about Price is Right or something? Or, oh, 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 Will of Fortune and Jeopardy. If those are on there, I want to. I, I wonder if Jeopardy lost some of its luster after what's his name died. Well, it's 2020. No, it's. Oh, you're it's, right. 2020. 2020. It's still huge. Will of Fortune and I think I think considered I think considered like um, um, syndicated stuff. I'm still I'm wondering about I that. They're, on, they're on. about syndication. 
There I'm are wondering writers about that prime, movies. though. I'm wondering about that prime thing being prime time. How about Colbert? Is he even on TV? Yeah. He's, yeah. I don't know he's prime time. I think he's oh, watch him all the time. I thought he like quit ten years ago. So. Oh no, he's popular. He's Ooh. he's even doing some special on right now after um, the January six hearings. I, America's Got Talent, Dancing with the Stars, those type of shows. Mm, America's yeah. Got Talent is explicitly excluded. It is where uh, the last. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see it. Yeah. Yep, the last one. AGT. Oh yeah. It's a summertime AGT thing. AGT is what? Oh, America's, America's, America's Got Talent. Yeah. Oh, how about Dancing with the Stars? Probably be the same, same deal. The same deal. Yeah, we the same kind of thing. Yeah. What about, about Survivor? That's another one like that, right? Yeah, those are all the. Oh, the, the, Bachelorette. Uh, those are those. What do you call those? Call um, like real life things. What do they call those? Things? Reality shows. Reality shows, which is bullshit. Reality shows. Reality. I like Bachelor over one of these two. They also call it. Uh, they also call it scripted. Well, Tucker Carlson's bigger than Laura Ingram. You know, they could be, you know, we're talking the top 20. So, I mean, it, it could, could both be there. It could both be there. I have a feeling neither one is there. This, the regular TV shows are bigger. Like This Is Us, Young Sheldon. Um, is that other show that Sheldon was on still on TV? Big Bang Theory. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory. Is that still on? No, no, it's in reruns, I think. Okay. What's the doctor episode? The kid with the What's doctor. What's the uh, house? Doogie Hauser? No, the kid has autism and he's a doctor. No. The good doctor? I don't know. Would you go to an autistic doctor? He's an autistic doctor. Yeah, I guess. If he's depends on how autistic, you know. It's like they, they spun a wheel. <laughs> okay. Would you would you go to a, a blind surgeon? No. <laughs> Autistic doctor, I would. Blind no, doctor. it's called the good doctor. I don't know how popular it is. Never heard of it. Well, well, we got, it's the TV we only have, show we only have, that Tom Selleck is in. We only have I think you should take Chicago Blue Blood out. Blue Blood, but that's that. not on anymore, is it? I don't know, but we only have 25 minutes till my wordle comes on. So yeah. <laughs> I just did it. I just solved it. Uh, yeah, well, hang on. I, tell have, I won't what tell you. We don't, tell we him, don't Kevin. Get we I don't get it yet. <laughs> I'll tell you, my first word is a good no, word. No, no. Don't tell me. Tell I, just, I, just, I just make up whatever comes to my mind is my first word. And it's usually a little right after midnight and I'm half asleep. I use oh, the same words over and over again. No, I, 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 that's, I, I, I'd rather the serendipity. Leaf is that. a five-letter word. Because one, one first. day, my first word mm -hmm. is going to be the wordle, and then mm -hmm. I'll pick a new first word. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, last night I died. I, 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 my last three guesses had a choice, uh, several choices in the first letter, and I couldn't, and I, and I, I, I guessed wrong. <sighs> Gee, let's just talk about Wordle all night. No, let's talk about time travel again. <laughs> Have you guys seen the, uh, the the pilot show for The Twilight Zone? It's called The Time Element. It's really good. Falling asleep. It's about a guy who goes back in time to December 6th, 1941. Hey, Bachelor and Bachelorette are two different shows, aren't they? Yeah, and I got them both up there. Number I mean, seven they're and one show, aren't they? No. Number seven and number ten. Those are the stupidest shows. They've been on forever, too, The Bachelor. So this guy goes back in time to December 6th, 1941. You know what's significant about that? Uh, yeah. Maybe there was Pearl Harbor? He tries to stop Pearl Harbor from happening. How stupid! Well, See, that's on. stupid. The it's great. so stupid. It's the, why it's Rod Serling that wrote it. It's un, it led why to the twilight. Day? Why don't you go back further? Uh, Kevin, because there you no years ago. Over it. Here, Kevin, thirty years ago, there were thirty, thirty-five so years Kevin. ago, there was a program like that where this guy's—I forgot what it was called—where they time traveled back 
and they were always trying to 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 fix up things, change history. Right, the, qu the quantum leap. Yeah, oh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, but this is the Twilight Zone episode written in 1958 or something. It's incredible. Okay, so are we taking the good doctor off. I guess I'm only using the first ten, unless you want to put it in front of something. Is Chicago uh, Hope still not on on there? I don't know. But I don't think it. I don't think it's on TV anymore. Are these Mano rules? No. <laughs> where is Mano anyway? You're Mano. I miss Mano. Yeah, where, where that's is my he? list. Oh, I asked How him how, and he on. says he'll come back eventually. Oh, you're Why putting the good doctor on there? Yeah, instead of Chicago Hope. Chicago Hope's not on anymore. It's gonna be. It's gonna be Laura Ingram. Well, there's always hope. Over Chicago PD? I don't think so. Over Tucker Carlson? You said it was he's better. The Bachelor. I didn't Bachelor say he's Letter. better. I said he's more popular. I've got some part-time work. And let's show you a picture or two. It's a big festival. Yeah, every year they have, and this is the first time in two years because of the um uh, because of COVID, but now it's back. They have a big light mm. festival downtown. Wow. There's lots of light shows nice. and Wow. and all sorts of things in, in large oh, areas beautiful. of the city and That's i was great. there last weekend when i was working down in my little section it was just you couldn't move it was a crush of people which is not good i'm not you know it's not very uh, anyway it's cold it's very cold down there and that's me there i am oh. working <laughs> did you take and, the picture you first showed yeah nice um but oh, I, I but I found a store down in my round which sells root beer, so I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, but it's three dollars a can, so I don't buy oh, much. Wow. Of Zero sugar though, the yeah, flavor's gone. Like, I want sugar <laughs> if I'm gonna have to pay three bucks. I used to live have. one minute from a real A and W. I went there a lot as a kid. I just had one, Richard. <laughs> like oh, <laughs> he does, he's got one right, got there. right there. Three dollars. A and W used to Very close cool. on Halloween night, yeah. and they would That's give out root beer for Halloween. Oh, okay, so go ahead, get um, ready yeah. for the answers. Yeah, I'm I will ready. tell you, I was absolutely flabbergasted as I went from team to team that uh, this was a harder question than I thought it was That's gonna so be. Cool. Um, I, I was surprised very much so. I thought that the airline one I did before was gonna be hard and it turned out to be easy, and this one turned out to be much harder. Um, I yeah. will post the 25 programs so you can do it, I'll also read them. But I'll post the list of the 25 from, from this list. I didn't see anybody get the first, second, and I think even the third highest rated programs. All right. And I think it's because this is a group that probably wouldn't get it. Uh, um, number one, NFL Sunday Night Football, folks. Yep, we got it. Number two, NFL Thursday. Well, it's events excluded, it says. <laughs> yep, excluded. got that. No, Ex no nope. commentary and special sports events. Oh, Jesus. Special sports events, a series. That's why I said, read the... Read, they read still the have series. football on TV? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one rated program in the country. And number two rated program was Thursday Night Football. And number oh. three was NCIS. Yeah, yeah. we got that. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you folks did better than I thought. So let me post the whole list so you can find it. It's in chat now. And I'll also write, I'll also read it. Let me put it's it It's not in chat yet. No, I see it's not in. There we go. And it also has the number of viewers. The mass singers. Oh my okay. God. So you're gonna read them too, Gail? I'll yeah, for the too. TV, for the video. What the hell? Okay. Oh, we did get him. I like it when we all know at the same time. Jeez. Oh, okay, here, the, here's the list. Sunday night football, Thursday night football. God. NCIS, night football. the Equalizer, Monday night football. Oh, <laughs> God. Is there football F on every night? Yeah, practically. No. FBI, 60 minutes. Chicago Fire. I think one team did get that one. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Blue Kevin Blood. Chicago Med. Chicago Med. God, what Nine is it with all the Chicago stuff? I told yeah. you they were popular. They're popular. Nine Chicago Nine Trash Nine. Collectors are next. <laughs> after no, Chicago, that's Chicago, after PD. Chicago Med, Gail. 
Yep, Chicago Med. Then the next one is 911. Ah. Chicago PD was tied with that. So that's 11th place is a tie. This is us. Yay. Young Sheldon. I know none of you got that one. Yep. 911 Lone Star. I'm shocked about Young Sheldon. Every person I ever mention it to, even science fans or never have watched it. We should, should be especially science fans. Okay, after 911 star? 911 Lone Star, then FBI Most Wanted, The Voice on Tuesdays. You don't have to have the Tuesdays, you've got The Voice. Bold, The Voice on Monday. So The Voice, you can get credit twice if you have the two of them. But doesn't that come under the category of like uh, 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 the the uh, the one that was eliminated, uh, the the singing one or the AGT the, the Big Brother? AGT wouldn't that come under the same category as America's Got Talent? No, predominantly not airing well. predominantly in the summer. Right, the the special program. This is a program that was not just. You the, really have to know the criteria they're looking for. That's why I printed exactly their criteria: Law and Order, Organized Crime. The Good Doctor. There we go. Grey's Anatomy. I saw some of people got that one. That one. Oh, yeah. 60 Minutes presents NCIS Los Angeles and The Masked Singer. Made it into the top 25. So what about Tucker Carlson? Yeah, Tucker. <laughs> Tucker nope. Carlson's not uh, broadcast. Not, not telecast. That's yeah, it's Fox true. News. It's Fox on, News. On Fox. What but about remember, the bachelor? We're talking about to the country in in general. It was not. What about the bachelor and the bachelorette? Nope, not there. Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yeah, Look, why? How? I don't understand. Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune's not. Those there. aren't prime time. I think those are prior to prime time. So that was the the question was the prime, and that meant prime time. Yeah, which yeah. and also uh, it's about remember it's adults. I thought it was but prime time. Prime was it all prime time? Because like that was not stated in writing. Yes, it, yes, it, it was. Prime. It says Where? prime. And the first line. Down. Second. Right second. In the chat, I copied it right from the Oh, prime. I see. That's what they mean by prime. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, it's not Amazon Prime. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's adult prime. prime time television. I thought uh, Prime was Prime. I mean, I thought Jeopardy it's, and and it's, uh, no, it's like yeah. starts at seven p.m. Central. No, they're 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 seven and uh here. Yeah. Prime time starts after Wheel of Fortune, eight o'clock. Uh, oh, West. I didn't know that. In the, West, yep. in the central time zone, seven, I think it is. Well, thanks for being on team. So what was the rationale? <laughs> what was the rationale for not having the cables? Because that's not quote telecast. It's, it's right. It's not. It's just Nielsen not hates in them. their criteria that Nielsen, Nielsen no, used. We didn't say that. We just said not streaming I, services. I didn't say anything. I printed <laughs> it. She's, really she's very clear. She <laughs> copied the Turn instructions right exactly. Did anybody get more than five? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. But I'm going to tell true. you, what does it say about the United States of America? Football. That three, that three weekly... People are watching this. What is this doing about an us and them, a violent sport? I oh, mean, boo. I know, 60 minutes. It's true. And the mass singer. I'd no, rather are see you hockey, kidding? Maybe. Football Let's is horribly violent. Hockey. More fights in hockey. I think we should be watching yeah. Monday Night Hockey. Actually, there's more fights in baseball than in hockey. Yeah, but there's no, less there traumatic isn't. brain injury in baseball than there is in football. Look at all this. Uh, you know, medical football is crime. But with all Very those num with Netflix. all those numbers, probably the larger numbers are actually watching the streaming stuff. But uh, you know what, Karen? There's watching. nothing we can do about it. Football is a religion, and uh, let's, 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 get, our, let's get our let's get our scores. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very enlightening, Gail. Yeah. Depressing, but enlightening. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, get up, yard, Toki. So, Did anybody get the football? Yeah, yep. oh, yeah. Fairs. yeah, we got. I, football. I knew that. Spirit fairs. Is there a link to that source? Uh, we got three. It's 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 yeah, it's the right. Chat. Okay, so the Washington. We're not House in last select... place. Stop the account. Stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> House Select Committee. We got two. No, we got three. 
We did not. Yeah, I thought we got uh, NCIS and Chicago, Chicago Fire. Fire and the Good Doctor. Did you specify no. the end? Did you specify oh, it was the, the Good the Fight? Yeah. And we did, did you the good fight, so you're right, too. Did you, did you guys specify the NCIS, which one it was? We didn't have to. No. We would have had to say NCIS. Specify, one of them. You could get credit for it twice if you specify. Yeah. But you don't have to specify. You just got okay, it. we have 50 seconds to go. We don't have a name. Five. Five. Okay, and then auto crack and kick my, kick, kiss my ass. Six. Seven? No. Ooh, no. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We missed uh, CSI and Law and Order, SCU. So we got Young Sheldon, Blue Blood, 60 Minutes. This is us, Chicago P uh, PD and Chicago Fire and uh, NCSI. NCIS. NCIS. <laughs> yeah, not CSI, it's NCIS. So is it seven? Six. Oh, it's six. What J James is right. Oops. What did I just change her? I had the oral equivalent of dyslexia. Okay, what <laughs> was the Washington one again? I messed up your head. No. <laughs> two. Yeah, two. two. I like ten. All right. We we had ten. So I don't care. You had yeah. ten. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, Everybody what? Hates. How what? does it feel to be hated? What? That, that round was a team to, to get a perfect score, Kyle, except for your category. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder why that was. And, and not it, only that, uh, in his category. Because you weren't on that team. That's what it was. Yeah, but the, right. the bonus round was as much Leonard as me. And, uh, and we don't want to shame people for being smart. And no, the, right. Right. The, we do. And the yeah, process we do. I used the process I used to get a bunch of the ones of the bonus was uh, shows that I can't stand <laughs> that I hear <laughs> other people talking about. There you go. I don't even know people who watch those shows. That's how bad it is. It, I, it I was hard to come up with shows because hardly any of us in our group and probably like a lot Nothing of people don't watch any I should regular have television. It's all said Blue yeah, Bloods no. and I didn't put it on the list. I don't right. watch any regular television shows. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, shows. everybody. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Richard. Bye, Richard. Bye, Richard. Good night. Good to see you, Richard. Thank you, guys. Good night. See you in uh, the States. Bye. See you in the States. Good night, everybody. Have a I'm safe travel. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Alan. Night. Thank night. you, Susan. Same thing, Bye, Ben. Peggy. I like, Man, I hardly watch anything on broadcast anymore. Now everybody know, needs to go and watch the uh, the hearings. Go back in time. Rob, am I doing a category? Robin, did you watch any of them? No, I, I did. I, I listened in the car while I was the driving home. Stuff. It was pretty exciting. Yeah. The sure. images. The images. They did not show the worst of the images, and they yeah. still were just so shocking. But it was it was very damning of. Donald Trump, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm and like, hey, what a surprise. Hang, firing, firing squad. Hang him. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I watched. Susan, am um, I doing a category? Now? Yes, yes, Gail. Oh, yeah. You're second. So I, I watched for I the, uh, uh, the hour. I watched on C-SPAN the hour before the hearings. The uh, Republicans talking about how horrible the hearings were going to be. And uh, the, why would they know the spew? They don't facts don't matter. Mm. Yeah, I said and, and, I set the DVR to see what the cut, you know, so I could see the different coverage from the places. I went to Fox. Fox is showing a repeat of a repeat of some shows that have nothing to do with anything. Yeah, they're, no, they're not. They're not showing they're it at all. It. One of the yeah. things I thought, though, when Ivanka, they showed a, a shot of Ivanka, I thought, oh, she's out of the will. Oh, wait, there's no money in the will anyway. <laughs> she, <laughs> looked, she looked scary. I saw her testify. She looked like a skeleton. Her face was, oh. I got too much makeup on. My wife was saying the same thing. Something's wrong with her face. Yeah, I'll say something wrong again? with her face. Her DNA oh. is tied to Donald Trump. So, so I found this strange. I actually asked if Fox News was showing it, and, and as was reported, apparently not. But I have the Fox News app, don't judge me, on my phone, and they were streaming it. Fox News yeah. Business was streaming it. No, no, I'm telling you, the Fox News app, oh. which is just like the CNN app, except it's a Fox News app, 
had a button to show the hearings, and I saw the whole thing on there. So. Well, they figure people that are smart enough to download. Well, they have the more app. bandwidth. I guess well, the Fox <laughs> News Channel was not showing it on television. Yeah, so, okay. do they? I'd be interested in the commentary of the Fox News after it's over. What they say? I, I they probably I don't think I could it. watch it, but no. I think they could. They gotta so have somebody it, talk. How much about of it, it is going to be about? Here's what we were texting behind the scenes to the White yeah. House, and then here's it was, what it was, we were saying on air. It was just amazing. Kevin McCarthy was talking about how, um, what you really want to know, what America really wants to know about is uh, gas prices being so high, and that's the fault of Biden. Mm -hmm. And 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 the the superpower that would be required for the American president and the whole world must take the entire world's uh, fuel prices high. It's just just amazing. One well, thing I noticed about Biden Fox, controls OPEC. Fox, yeah, apparently. Fox News Channel, um, I was staying with relatives and another relative uh, on the other side of the family was there and he watched Fox News all the time with the sound down and just reading the stuff. And I tried to discuss things with him in a friendly way or any, by asking him questions and he just accepted it without any proof and and I said, gosh, you know what they said, you know, what some allegation, I said, boy, that's really extreme. I'm going to try and find that online. And I looked and there was nothing. And I said, you know, I wasn't able to find anything anywhere, a video of what they were talking about. Well, that's because the government doesn't make it all available and Google's in on it. They just refuse to believe anything. Yep. Of yeah, the all this. It's amazing what they will absolutely challenge they'll say well why don't the democrats show this but yet they will they'll take anything as real yeah without any evidence at all that's okay yeah. that's okay you guys for, for presenting up. with actual facts Hi, that's Jamie. Not fake. Jamie. Good night. take care Good afternoon Bye. Jamie. thank you jamie yeah happy thank travels you. robin thank you i'm so excited i'm yeah. waiting for those photos to show up I, I will. That. Where are you going, Robin? I'm Ireland. going to Ireland. Oh, nice. Cool. Say, say hello to the Cliffs of Moher. I will be going there. And the leprechauns. And the leprechauns. We're going there by boat. Oh. Um, so I've been to the Cliffs of Moher once before from the top, and now I'm going to go from the bottom. Cool. I'm excited about that. Hope to see puffins. Oh, and, they're so uh, cute. I've seen them in zoos. And what do they got? They've got shearwaters, some kind of shearwater. I can't remember. I'm, I'm definitely taking bird books. Oh, I gotta pack my bird books. Um, There's an app for that. There is. I probably don't even have to take a heavy book on an airplane flight all the way across the Atlantic. Yeah. Um, no, I'll just no, do I a regret, little bit. Can the, can I regret the app, not taking uh, recognize it on the fly Zealand if you take a picture with your phone. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got a, They have an app for that. Cool. It's called the Merlin app. Janine, yeah, what do you not regret? That accurate, but oh, I said I regretted not taking my Birds of New Zealand <laughs> book when I went. Yeah, I I would definitely take my bird book. I've definitely taken my binoculars. Yes, and... I had to choose between my camera and my binoculars, and I took my binoculars. Was a good choice. My camera with the telephoto lens has a longer reach than my eight power binoculars. Nah, I don't have that. Bragger. Well, how big is your lens? I'm uh, kidding. <laughs> uh, well, it's a 300 millimeter lens with a two to one crop factor, which gives it the field of view of a full frame 600 millimeter lens. I got the 70 to 300, but I hate it. Uh oh, we're starting to talk about that. Full frame it's lens. Not out of focus. <laughs> I'm gonna go and watch uh, the oh, hearings. Oh, it's not auto focus. That's a problem. No, it's okay. tough because I'm getting a lot of you guys. Did. Are all. the hearings going I, on I right go, now, like live? No, we like, no two hours. Two hours. Replay. No, it's it's but one in the morning. I, I yeah. What I show, I want to show you guys. I want to show something if I can share screen. Or go ahead. One of our speakers. Uh, Mark Crisplip uh, just yeah, wrote a, a fiction book. Really? Really? Yes. And this is it. Skeptics in the Pub, Cholera. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. How 
cheery. I'll put the oh, link wow. In. Look at that. If they had been able to suppress the germ theory, this is what it would look like if patent medicines had. Oh, wow. The pus whisperer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know Mark's a pretty reason. good writer. Let yeah. me. Robin, yeah. I just put the link in the chat there. You can see it. Thank you. Theories. Thank you. See, anyway. Mark is the most humorous of the science based medicine writers. Yeah. Yeah, his um, humor is kind of sarcastic pretty often, but yes. Yeah. So it there's, reminded me of uh, attorneys the doing their opening comments or something statements at the beginning oh this is a really good um website i haven't seen this media with Center, fighting media duck press tip line Ooh, there's a tip <laughs> line let's call on some tips some psychics if you're interested in comedy letterman's got a new show on netflix all right y'all i'm going to go thank you great to see you guys take care everybody, everybody. Watch wow we video. finished today we didn't go into tomorrow and see. Yeah, isn't that great? Well, we can wait four minutes. Yeah. I was on it.